hello everyone welcome back to my little channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day um if you guys are new here please subscribe and leave me a little comment on what you guys thought about the nails also don't forget to check out my online store zule nail shop um the link's going to be in the description for all the products that i'm using Oh look, Zulay's lying. Fuck, I feel like a weirdo today. Hello, welcome. Hello everyone, welcome. How are you guys? It's nail day. Hi Lady Coto. Hi Joanne. Hi um Sabrina La Sobrina. Hi Wendy. Hello everyone joining. Hi Jackie. Hi mommy. Hi Rubio. Damn, your nails are so sexy, baby girl. Thank you. Hi everyone. Welcome. Welcome, hi Mireya. Como están? So I already prepped my nails and I put rubber base gel. I'm just gonna roughen it up a little bit because um I feel like if I add my nails now because I already ate and shit, como que they're not gonna stick. So hi Jimena, welcome. Um, I'm just roughing them up. So I'm debating. Do you guys think I should do square nails? Or should I do coffin? I haven't had square on this hand in a while. I've always been doing coffin because I normally um, end up with like taper square with my coffin nails because I have big fingers. Hi, Maricela. Welcome, everyone. Thank you guys for joining. Square, coffin, square, coffin, square as fuck. I have really big hands. So this is what the square looks like on me. My sister says it doesn't look good, but I really like it. I feel red shit, honey. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm going to do square porque todos dicen square. Fuck it, thug life. Yeah, so I put a poll on my story um, to see what the hell I was going to do today. I have... I haven't had any idea or inspiration, but just in case you guys are wondering why the hell I'm doing my nails again. Me metió un putazo last week. I'm just kidding. What wasn't like a putazo, putazo, but it was. I hurt this nail and this one. This one broke off. And the other one didn't because, how do you call it, um... The other one didn't because of the big ass diamond. Do you guys remember that big ass motherfucking bling? Oh, what the hell? That was not a zero. Um, but oh my lord, it was so sore. I was like, bitch. I wish you would have fucking fell. Not C curve. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do C curve. I actually don't have. Even if I wanted to do C curve, I don't have three XL tips in C curve. Um. Okay, so normally I give my middle finger a BBL. i eh, just kidding. A lipo. Because, dude, I'm a number three in my middle finger. Oh, my God. So if you guys are ever in between a number, I recommend to just file the sides. Where did you get the Hello Kitty for your thumb? Um, They're stickers. I sell them. You can find everything that I have on my nails on my website. The link is on the bio. And anything that I'm using today, you guys can also find it there. So I'm just going to file them a little bit. Where to buy your nails? Um, you guys can shop all nail supplies on my website. Link on bio. I sell nail supplies just in case you didn't know. Um, I'm going to be using the 3XL um, square. Yeah, so me mete un chingazo, right? Hold on, I'm missing the finger. And they're still a little bit sore. When I was prepping them, I'm like, dude, it hurts. It hurts. So today, I'm going to be doing... Girl, check out your DM. Te tengo una propuesta. Okay, amiga. I'll do that um 
tomorrow. Or if I have, if I'm done early, I'll check today, actually. Okay. Que me vas a dar chupi chupi. I just get it. <laughs> okay, bitch, let's do this shit. Do you have curved nails? Yes, we do have a few. We have like two styles of curved nails, actually. Not many. All right. So I always put my thumbs crooked because my thumbs are weird as fuck. Okay. Like my finger go that way, the nail go that way. And it's like, bitch, como caiga. Hi, Ariel. I'm so salty. I was too late to get the light. We oh, girl. I think I have one more. I miscounted. So today when we were, um, when I was printing out the orders, I realized that there was one customer that had a, li a light, right? And then I realized we already shipped her order. So I was like, what the fuck? Why do I have one more light? Did I not count that one? Like, did I think that one was for me or what? So if I if that one is um l like available, girl, text me and I can sell it to you. I'll put it up on the website, but I'll let you know when so nobody else takes it. Hi Dash Nails, how are you? Hi Psycho, can I ask you a question? Of course. So this finger is hella crooked, like it go that way, and the finger, the nail. So I try to put it more this way. I mean, I feel like I did a good job, but we'll see once I put the color on. Them nails. Thank you. Thank you. They they long, honey. Also, I was saying that I'm going to do... Hi, Tanya. Hi, Rosalia. I'm going to be doing black and orange nails with a little bit of cursed broomstick. You're so bummed for this, girl. It was meant for you then because literally I was like... Actually, El Jefe came into my room and he's like, um, boss, is that lamp yours? And then, because I had it on next to my desk, I, I used it. So this is how I probably got mixed up. I was using that one to measure the box that I'm going to ship it in. And so I think I must have left it next to my nail desk and I didn't remember. Like, I thought it was just the box of mine. And how do you call it? Um... So I was like, pick it up, right? Like, if there's a lamp in there, then it's not mine. It's extra, right? And then he's like, oh, it's because I need one for an order. And then the name kind of clicked on me. And I was like, wait a minute. We already sent that one yesterday. So I'm like, bitch, that girl could have got two fucking lamps. Thank God I remember that I had already shipped hers out because the jefe don't fucking pay attention sometimes. He just ships things out. He don't even look up you guys' names. So I'm like, uh-uh. Like, I can't remember what I did last month on Monday, Tuesday of the 1st. But I can't remember who the fuck placed an order. Like, if I pack your order and you try to tell me that you didn't get it because I sent it. No, it's good. <laughs> I remember who you are and what you got for the most part. It's crazy. But I can't remember what I did last week. What the fuck? Or, like, my clients, I know what they got when I first met them. Like, how fucking weird is my brain? Like, I could be precise with the color, too. I'm like, oh, yeah, you got glow number six. And they'll be like, what the fuck? How the fuck do you know? And I'm like, I don't know, bitch. I just know. All right, so here are the nails. Damn, bitch, they feel so fucking big, honey. Okay, let me read the comments real quick. I've been following you forever. Feels great to see how nail ticks can keep going and not, not die out. Definitely stayed relevant. You're so dope, Zoo. Thank you, Kimberly. Girl, it's been a long as fucking journey. But as long as you stay fucking posting and keep doing your work or whatever like you don't really die out i mean obviously i'm not famous or popular because i'm a senora <laughs> i feel like the younger girls the newer ones be popping and trending which is normal you know because everybody goes through that but as long as you keep pushing and posting like you still will be in business you know i still got my clients i still have my little followers and everything I still want to learn the right way to do nails on my own. Don't worry, girl. Watch my YouTube videos and you will learn. So I'm just putting a little bit of primer on my nails again, the, the no burn. I already prepped them, okay? So I put a base of rubber base gel, which is this one. So instead of putting 
<clears throat> hi Chrissy. Hi Toronto Nail. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you put rubber base under your acrylic? Okay, good thing I'm reading that real quick. So yes, I do sometimes instead of um because I use color acrylic, I normally put a layer of clear acrylic. But if I don't want to do that for whatever reason, like today, I didn't want to have to prep my nails on live because I was waiting for El Jefe to finish making dinner. I was like, let me do that in advance. So I'm, I'm going to put the rubber base to protect my nail, right? So I cured them and everything. And then I went to eat. Hi, Zach. Welcome. And now I'm going to put the acrylic on top so you guys can do that. Um, but I would recommend to uh, obviously apply the acrylic directly once it's cured while still tacky. So check it out, guys. Look at my new tampon dishes. I've actually had these in the past. They just got here today. So that's what I did. Okay. Yes, girl. It works amazing. And our rubber base gel in clear has amazing adhesion. So if you guys struggle with lifting or whatever, you guys need to really try my Ultimate Prep Trio. That shit is bomb.com. Excuse me. And with the rubber base, is like a fucking Ultimate Combo right there. Um, Let me see. Not this brush. Maybe not get this brush. Where's my other brush? All right, there you go. So normally, depending on the colors that I'm going to use, is what method I use. So normally... I like to use the rubber base method with like dark colors. And the reason why is because you know when you're trying to like seal your cuticle and things like that, sometimes you over shave the color. Has that happened to you guys before? Well, it happened to me so many times. And I feel that the gel just is such a thin ass coat. Like it doesn't happen, you know? You guys are tapping the screen. All right. So today I'm going to be using Glow Orange. I'm going to be doing my opposite hand, so wish me luck, bitch. I'm also going to be using peaches and cream. This is one of my favorite colors. It You can use it like a nude color too, so I really, really like it. Peaches and cream. I'm going to be using number two, or if you guys have black hole, you guys can definitely use that as well. Um, a ver que mas. Oh, and then I'm going to use cursed broomstick, which is this pretty little orange and gold and black mix it's not chunky it's perfect that's the tea yeah so i'm not gonna open it just yet because i girl i don't even know what i'm doing yet but i'm gonna use that one for show all right so I, i'm gonna do a frenchie i think i'm gonna try to do my middle finger as a french wish me luck guys and i'm also using my kalinsky number 16 all right, so again, I'm using my opposite hand, so y'all may think I'm a fucking professional at my my nails, but low-key, even still doing my opposite hand, I be struggling. Like, y'all may not think I do, but I do. And right now, it's kind of hot, so se me va a secar rápido el pinche cala, honey, el pinche cala. I'm sorry if I'm not reading the comments right now, but I need to do this French. I'm going to try to do a deep French. Girl, I thought you were on TikTok. No, honey, I'm on Instagram. All right, so let's do this little deep French. And depending on the length of the nail is how deep my Frenches go. Maybe I'll do two Frenchies, depending. It's looking like I'm doing a good, a good little bee right here. It's like a hit and miss. Sometimes my fucking right hand does not cooperate. Honey, that shit came out good. <laughs> Sometimes my nail doesn't want to cooperate. Like, I gotta beat the shit out of it and stuff, you know? I mean, at this angle, it looks good. And the other angle, not so good. Hi, Janie. Welcome. Hey, boo. Hola, Marie. Hi, SQ. Como estas? Bienvenida. So today we're going to do like a um, semi-Halloween, but not really halloween -y. I don't fucking know. We'll see. We'll see what we come out with. So there is my little fringe. I'm hoping that looks good. It looks good from this point of view. I think I just got lucky. That's why sometimes 
I have a love and hate relationship. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome. Um, I have a love and hate relationship with Frenchies porque en veces sí me salen bien y en veces no, güey. Dude, ahorita estoy haciendo el mega twister con mi brazo. Así bien. This is normally how I hold my hands when I do my left hand. I mean, my right hand. So I'm over here trying to be a righty, bitch. Imagine. Oh, my God. Hello, everyone. If you, uh, if you use rubber base, you still need to use primer once it cures. No. No, 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 no. So if you do it. Okay, let's pretend you, you um, prep the nail with your primers. You already done prep, priming them. You're going to put the rubber base gel right away, right? You're going to put it right away and you are going to cure it right after it cures is while it's still tacky. Don't touch it. You are going to um, apply the acrylic directly on there. I didn't do it that way because I had to go eat. So I applied it and then I removed the tackiness. That's why I filed it prior to the application, which I feel like if you do it my method from right now that I did, it doesn't stick as well, but we will see. Hi, Dalia. How are you, Zulega? My October box. I love it. Yes. I'm so stoked to finally be able to catch you live. I'm always watching YouTube after. Oh, yay, girl. Okay, honey. This nail's not looking as perfect as I thought, but whatever. Okay, pues, yo creo que no me salió tan deep como lo quería, pero fuck it. Fuck it, thug life. All right. So, it's, if you guys are going to do, like, reverse method with your... Hi, Maria. With your Frenchies, I recommend you guys do them kind of thick. Thick like your bleep, eh? Because that way you can file it. Okay, a ver, ¿qué más me voy a hacer? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do my index finger with orange. Thug Life Primer, then rubber base. No primer at all needed. No, no, no. You have to prime your nail first. You have to prep your nail first, and the base is after. Zuleg on my month left of nail. Oh, yes! Congratulations, girl. You're almost done. Get it, Mari. When you're done, te vamos a cantar. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Congratulations, Maricela. Hey, because you're done with school. Anybody else going to school? So this color is fucking bright as fuck, bitch. It is our glow in the dark orange. That's why I decided to use it today because, bitch, I'm trying to glow, honey. Like, bitch, I need these hoes at the store to see me from a mile away. A mile away, honey. So this one's going to be an ombre. <gasps> I fucked up. Fuck my life. Oh, well. Okay, I could still fix it. I could still fix it. I was supposed to put the black first. Lord. I went to school 42 years ago. What? I can't wait to start. Do you have a date yet, Janie? Like, did you look into it yet? Zule, I placed an order and forgot to put the apartment number. Honey, honey, when? Today? When? If it was today or yesterday, I can help you. Text me right away, right now. And then, um, how to call it? I'll, I'll fix it for you when we're done. Oh, shit. Oh, yesterday? Okay, okay, yes. Text me. My phone number is here on Instagram. Fucking chat. I was supposed to do an ombre, bitch, and I fucked up. I was supposed to put the black first, then the orange. Ugh. Girlfriend. Oh, whenever? You could start already? Hi, moon. Whenever you are ready. Hopefully, we can still fix this. If not, we're going to have to throw glitter in this bitch. Okay. So, normally, when I do a ombre with, like, dark colors, or I always do whatever's at the tip, to be honest. It doesn't matter if it's dark or light. 
um, I always start the tip, then the next color, the next color, the next color, right? So that's where I fucked up. Por andar aquí en el chisme. Have you done nails with the October box? Um, I did some nails with partial items from the October box. Um, the, the ghost face ones, we use the stickers and we use the gel, the reflective gel. I forgot what the fuck else I, oh, and the little, wait. We use some little spiders. I haven't done them for the acrylics yet, though. Yeah, if I cannot fix it, we definitely, we, oh, okay. If you're going to start, let me know already. So, you know, distracted, talk, uh -huh, I'm distracted talking to these hoes, man. All right, but it's okay. We can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. All right. Have you done any sets with the scoop spiders you had, Zule? Oh, no, I have not. I have not. I was even thinking maybe I can put it in here. I, I forget what I have, guys. If you guys want me to do a set with a specific something, let me know because I forget. I have too many things and I forget what the fuck I have. All right, so I'm just going to clean the black. I remember that, okay, the acrylics I was referring to. No, not yet, not yet. When I do my fake can, I'm going to use the elephant trunk and the... Oh, I use Scorpio, actually. Can you use a couple? I need help. Yes, I'm not going to use them on my nails because I don't want mine that Halloween-y. But yes, I, I, will, I could make a little tutorial for you. I would encapsulate them. Yo también me estoy haciendo mis suyas. Yes, yes, because I couldn't figure out how to get them laid. Oh, girl. You can encapsulate them. All right. So that's as good as this ombre going to get on this hand. All right. Just remind me. I, I could probably do a, a tutorial on Thursday. I'll do a tutorial on Thursday or if I have time tomorrow after my my client. Like if I have a little break or something. Have you showed the new gels you have on your website? Which ones? The rubber gels, Marisel? I mean, not Marisela. Marisbel. Marisbel. The new rubber base or cuáles? Do you have some of the black glitter acrylic from the scoops? No. If you mean the, the sugar one, no, but I I ordered more, so it should be coming any day now, hopefully. Um, it was highly requested the other day when I was on live because I, I didn't think I was going to restock it only because I'm like, dude, Halloween's around the corner. Nobody fucking wants that shit no more in my brain, right? And then my followers were like, bitch, you could use that shit. You could use that shit for New Year's. And I was like, oh my God, that is so true. So I got some more. It's coming. It's coming. This nudish peachy color is called Peaches and Cream. So it's not a nude nude, but it kind of looks like a nude, huh? Compared to the brightest colors. So normally I like to point my finger down, which I'm trying to practice doing this way with my opposite hand. It's so hard. I don't even know how to hold a brush. All right, hold on, guys. Got to train the right hand to not be stupid. Because God forbid anything happens to my other hand and I still need to be able to do nails. You know? Like my right hand can do flowers, but it can't really do a lot of other things. <laughs> Sugar, anytime. You can put single or in the set. You can, but what? Oh, the new ones? Yeah, they're available on the website. Oh, porque no puse el color, huh? Like what, what the colors are? Oh, if I haven't done that, I need to get to that. All right, let me put a little bit more of the peaches and cream. This color is so fucking bomb. All year round, peaches and cream is a must, guys. Especially right now that is pumpkin season. Mm-mm-mm. I feel like I'm going to be using this this one very, very often. What color is the orange? I'm using peaches and cream, glow orange, and black. So with ombres, you can work little at a time. Hi, Mayra. Welcome. Um, I use peaches and cream, the light color, the peachy one. 
And then this other orange is glow orange. Because I have two glows. One of them is glow number six and this one is glow orange. This one is from our original our original um, glow collection. So if you guys haven't tried our glows, you, what you waiting for, honey? Uh, I did some flowers in my now and I'm going to hand. They look bad. It's okay, honey. Practice. Practice makes better. So, yeah, this hand is not looking, not looking that well. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this now again. Ay, no, Diosito. My ombre is just not the business with my right hand. But you know what? That's why we continue to try them because, bitch, if you don't fucking keep trying things you're not good at, then when the fuck you going to get bitter? The painting gel no wipe. The new ones, Marisbel, we have them on the website. They're under the blue one. But I don't think I put the picture yet. I did it in a hurry because one of my lovely followers really wanted to buy them. But I, I did show them on my live. I could look look for them right now if you want to see them. Alright, that's as good as it's gonna get. Ay, my finger! So, because I did put a good ass fucking layer of the acrylics, my fingers kind of hot right now. Hold on, let me show you the the colors real quick. All right, so this one is red slippers. This one is blizzard. Uh, I don't know where the pink one is, but it's a nice ass bright pink. Huh. So the bright pink one, um, the one that's called Barbie, I used it on my, how do you call it, um, ¿cómo se llama ese pinche güey? El ghost face, the black nails with the pink, that was it. Alright, so it's not looking all that bad. It's not looking all that bad, but it's not perfect, but it's okay, we don't do perfection here. At least I don't. I am nowhere near perfect bitch. Do you do special colors for Christmas? Um, what do you mean exactly by that? If I do special colors, like do I use special colors? All right, so this one's going to be kind of like a color block vibes. The Barbie pink. Yeah, I don't know what I did to that one. Pero if you, if you go into my profile and you look at the ghost face, um, ooh, thank you, Carmen, for the badge, girl. That's my first badge today. <laughs> um, if you go to my profile and you look at my ghost face that's black, all black nails and pink drip, that pink drip is the Barbie. All right, so I'm going to try to kind of cut it here. Oh, you know what? Let me get a floss stick. Normally that helps. All right, hold on. So you guys can definitely do this with a blade or whatever helps. Um, I normally do a floss stick. Hold on. <sighs> Depending on the designs, you, you can use a floss stick, you know, and cut it and slide it. But... Let's see. I like to dip it in the powder so it doesn't get stuck. And hopefully, I do it straight. I normally do this with a knife or like a blade or an exacto knife or whatever. But you know, a bitch don't got one. And I don't trust myself with that shit either. So you just go like that. Make sure it's more dry than wet. My hand is shaking, bitch. It's like... Como si fuera pinche nine me voy a cortar, güey. Um, uh, was the inspo? Um, I don't really have inspo. I'm just kind of going with the flow. With the colors. I know. Ya la cagué. I was doing just fine. Zule, how do you get your broken nails to grow back fast? I just lost my pinky girl. They do not grow back fast. 
they just take time. So I would recommend for you to not put anything on that pinky until it's at least halfway grown back. Normally, depending on everybody, everybody's nails grow at a different rate. The times that I have lost the nail completely, it has taken me six fucking months. Six months, bitch. No te cote. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me see. Uh, all right. What tips do you have for your dominant hand? Um, well, my best tip and advice is for you to fucking do it as much as you can. Because it only gets easier with practice. Other than that, it's the same shit than your other hand, you know? But, um... As far as, like, positioning it, and girl, I'm still struggling. I struggle. Sometimes my right hand just not want to cooperate. It does not want to cooperate. Hold on. Let me put a little bit more orange. I'm going to do an ombre. Um, oh, eating well and vitamins help. Okay, Cherry, throwing me under the bus, saying I don't eat well. i just kidding. Uh, Zule, my daughter, Sanaya, says, hey, hi, Sanaya, how are you? I hope I'm saying your name correctly, and if I'm not, I apologize. I knocked the hell out of two. Oh, my God. You know what? Everyone and their fucking mama right now is getting hurt. So y'all better be careful with those nails. I'm about to start selling limpias, limpia kits, aka un huevo. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> On my website, pa que se hagan limpia la verga, porque no mames. Um, Ariel too, she fucked up the same finger as me. I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> And then one of my clients se putió dos dedos también. I'm like, no mames. Eso ya está en el aire la chingada. You said it perfectly. She's grinning. Yes, Anaya. Hi. Ajá. Oh, Stephanie, te mandé tu, tu paquetito hoy. Okay. All right. I am in... I live in California. I work out of Los Angeles, but I live in Beaumont. Beaumont, California. All right, I'm trying to look. I'll show you guys how the fuck I'm holding my brush right now. Oh Lord, I'm trying a new technique today. I'm struggling, but this fucking brush, this hand is not gonna beat me. That's what you gotta tell yourself too. Like you know, oh Lord, I've been doing my nails for ten years already, guys. I've been struggling for ten fucking years, and I still struggle. So look, at, I'm holding it like this, like top and they like I don't even know how to hold it, but I'm trying. I sculpt my nails, but watching you sometimes I miss tips, girl. No, I cannot sculpt. I mean, I could, but fuck no, that shit stresses me out. Props to all of y'all bitches who do sculpting because nope. Like, I feel like my nail bits are just not meant for that. They're all fucking weirdos. Like, my nail bits are all chuecas. They're all fucking funny looking. Like, I, I feel como que me las pongo más crooked. Although some people are like, no girl, you could do... I don't breathe when I do my non-dominant hand. Girl, me too. Cause see, I pass out right here, low-key. <laughs> but people be like, it's easier. I'm like, not for me. Because I feel like my little carnita at the bottom. What is it called again? Hyponic. I don't even fucking know, bitch. I went to school 11 years ago. I can't remember none of those motherfucking terms. So educate me again. That little meat on the bottom. It hurts with the nail form. Although you can customize it and all that bullshit. Hi, Ruth. N yeah, that's too much work for me. Like, nope. Nail tips is going to be my thing. All right. So I'm just trying to blend that little line that I created for not blending the tip. A little, a mini ombre. That's like a baby nail. Who wears their nails that little? 
<laughs> the hyponychium. Okay, yeah, I knew it was something like that. Oh, man, I need flitter now. I need some flitter. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could put a little spider in there. Oh, my God. The goodie bag from the pop-up. I love everything. Yes, honey. Yes. Okay. Oh, where's my floss? I'm going to need that right now again. Yeah, I wish more of my z would have got a bag. I was low-key sad, but I was like, you know what? Next time, next time, pues hago más, ¿verdad? Next time. So I'm using Cursed Broomstick right here, okay? I'm just gonna do a little piece. Oh, fuck, I already pressed it too much. So I'm supposed to use that little line as a... As a little guide, but yeah, la cague. So we're going to do a little bit of stressful work. Some color blocking here with all these colors. Zule, will you have zip-up jackets, girl? Um, I don't know. Maybe in the future, I got some. Some little... What were they? I don't even know what they're called. Janie, what would those jackets be called? It's not even a jacket. Um, It's like a... I don't fucking know what it's called. But I do have hoodies right now. Depending on how they they do, then I'll consider more, more merch. Can you ever make your thumbnail smaller? My fingers' nails are whiter and hard to make tips fit. My what? My fingers? My fingernails? Oh, my nail tips? Actually, if you have little ones. A uh, letterman? Letterman. Anda, lesa verga. Something like that. If you have little fingers, I recommend. If you don't wear a lot of, of I mean, if you don't wear them long, I recommend our XL stilettos or our regular coffin. Those run very little. Like the fing the baby fingers run their tightening. Excuse me. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of blank. I think you should definitely make aprons, amiga. Yes. Well, one of my followers she made me an apron. I want to put my name on it. I want to put my name on it. Oh, you have big fingers, girl. I have big ass fingers too. Are your fingers bigger than mine? Handing your finger bigger than mine. I have the XL coffin. I'm wearing them. Yes. Uh, my favorite for my clients when I'm doing coffins are the extreme stiletto or the XL um, stilettos because they give you a nice coffin. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of black here. I should put more actually. And then I'm going to do a marble. I should probably do a little marble. Marble at the tip. That's what I'm going to be doing. A little marble. I'm doing a complicated order. Complicated order. Security. Oh, zero, zero, double zero. Okay. I couldn't look into that. Because, how to call it? I, I, I'm I part of that gang too, girlfriend. My thumbs are so huge. Oh, shit. There's a pillow. The zero barely fits on the square nails. Zule's nail forms are great for big finger. Ooh. Yeah, I you could even um you could even cut the form to make it bigger. Dude, I did my shit all twix and nadie me dice pinches perras van a ver. Pinches perras no quiero no quieren que tenga la uña chingona y no me dijeron van a ver van a ver que me la hizo Schwex oh shit hold on Zule what ended up happening to your customer's order did she get it oh the the big order no girl I think one of the workers at the post office um fucking stole it. I had to resend it to her. But um I put a like a search claim or whatever the fuck it's called. 
So hopefully, if they find it, they'll return it. But to be honest, I really think somebody fucking stole it there. Like one of the custom, I mean, not the customer, the, 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 the let me try it into it. One of the employees at the post office. Literally, it was too fucking sketchy. No mames, way. I finally caught a live. Hi. Hi. So I'm trying to like super cut it, but it's not letting me cut it super straight. I know that's so fucked up, but you know what? I was like, karma's a bitch. If somebody stole that shit, pues, you know, I, I believe in karma and how to call it, um, I just did what's right and I sent it to my client, you know, because that happened to me too, where one of my orders, um, got, I don't think it got stolen, but it just, well, who knows? It got lost for sure. Recently, um, my, my order for my light gold and my gold champagne and some other stuff that I was hoping to have for Halloween for you guys. Um, it just never fucking got scanned either or if it did i couldn't see the updates but um it's been over two months oh thank you nini for the badge um it's been over two months since that package um was supposed to arrive and it didn't like for me and so i was like you know what like i've already been in the business long enough to know when a package is lost but for me i always how to call it i'm patient you know with my packages um, when I order stuff because I know shit gets lost and then they find it, you know? So I had been waiting a month and then another month. And then I was like, okay, I think it's lost at this point. So I reached out to my, um, to my vendor and I was like, um, I think this is lost. You know, it's already been two months. Can you just send it again? You know? Because it was like a really big order, right? And so then it happened to me with a customer. So I know what it feels like. And I was like, I don't want it to be lost. And girl, I'm going to I'm gonna make a blank by all your fucking products. My problem is my nails are pretty. But they'll pop up so quick. My sister says I better. I need better products. So I'm going to try. Okay, girl. Yeah, but if they just pop off, you might need to also, um, how do you call it, um, como se dice? You might have to prep a little bit more. I would cry my order got stolen, girl. I wanted to low-key cry, but then no, because it's like, you know what? Pa que vamos a llorar? You know? We ain't gonna cry because then we're gonna get ugly and fuck that shit, you know? But yeah, I did want to cry. Luckily, pues, they can replace it for us. And they're like, do you have insurance? I'm like, no, I do not put no insurance because y'all don't even fucking help me when something gets lost. So why am I going to pay extra to insure a package when you guys buy them better? That's what I told her, pretty much. <laughs> Hi, Cassandra. I, well, I didn't tell her que valen verga, but in other words, she got the hint. Like, she's like, I'm sorry. I was like, yeah, the fucking post office. También, pues, we cannot get mad at them either because they do be coming through. You know, they, not everybody's like that, but, like, as far as claims go, don't fucking buy insurance, bitch. Y que se me olvidaron cosas a su lie at the pop-up. Susie, please, no empecemos allí. <laughs> A lot of companies don't replace the products. I always try my best to do a courtesy one. Only because shit happens, you know? Um, But um, how to call it? If it seems sketchy to me. Because it's happened to me a few times. Where it be feeling a little sketchy. Like, you know. You know the vibes. Um, When you can tell somebody's lying. Then, then I will be like, nah, bitch, you already got your package. But for the most part, I always try to make it right, you know? But you know when somebody fucking lying to you. You know, you know. Uh, There's a dishonest people everywhere, but it will come back. Yes, there is. Actually, let's talk about another customer that I don't even know if she follows me or not, but she is not a nail tech. 
She is somebody else, another nail techs customer, which is even more sad. She came to me to buy stuff. She took it to her nail tech and then she opened a fucking, um, should I do this with an ombre or should I do it with flitter? What do you guys think? Should I do an ombre like this or should I do an ombre, uh, an ombre with a glitter? So this customer opened a dispute on me like she never fucking bought shit. I'm like, girl. You got caught on camera walking in with that package, getting your nails done, using all that shit, and you're going to go and fucking say you didn't buy it? Like, no, ma'am. You got me fucked up. I got proof. So that shit pisses me off when people do shit like that. Like, dude, how the fuck can you sleep at night? Like, that's fucked up. All right, we're going to do Glitter. So I was like, no mames, toda cachada y echando mentiras. Like, no mames, wey, no mames, wey. All right, we're going to do glitter. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. And then the crazy part is that, well, I follow her nail tech. So that's how I was able to see the, the video. And I was like, oh my God, baby Jesus, thank you for showing me the proof, right? So I could send it in and she will not get her fucking money and my product. Mm -mm. Nope. She not going to win. And if she does, I'm going to fucking. I'm going to post her ass. I'm going to expose her. I wonder if her nail tech knows. I keep hitting the heart button, but every time once in a while my knuckle slips and I hit the laughing button by mistake. It's okay, honey. It's okay. That's so wrong. Yes, I know. I don't know why people do that. Like, dude, if anybody in here watching, if you guys have done that, like, that's fucked up. Don't do it again. But I believe in karma because, okay, let me tell you guys a little story. And this is another reason why I don't really get that mad either. Because when I was younger, like little, little, I used to steal too. <laughs> But I would steal, like, stupid shit. But I didn't know, you know? Like, well, I didn't know that I was stealing. But, like, I would go to 99 and I would steal, like, little erasers and little fucking pencils because my mom didn't have no money or the money she did. Obviously, she couldn't buy me the things I wanted, right? Or those little nail toys at the store. And then in high school... I went to this place where they, it was like small businesses too. So that's why I feel like baby Jesus fucking teaching me a lesson. Like, bitch, that's what you get for seeing us in high school or whatever. But it was like, I, I didn't think and uh, I didn't know any better. Right. So that's why I tell myself, maybe these people are young or whatever. Not that that makes it right, but that's your karma, bitch. <laughs> you know, uh huh. let's be honest. We have all been. Oh, we no, bitch. I if I ever not scan something, it was by accident, not on purpose. Zule's a thief, she stole my heart. <laughs> yeah, it was not on purpose. I'm gonna get a job at the post office in Boma. <laughs> yes, girl, come, come, come and get it. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Someone starts singing. But yeah, I was like, oh, Zule, fine. Or like when I go to fast food restaurants and they fuck up my shit. Like I don't even bother to get mad because I did that before when I was younger. You know, like I got people's orders wrong. I reheated their fucking coffee, bitch. Yes, I did that. And I'm sorry. Now that I'm older, I'm sorry. <laughs> so when they give me fucked up shit, I'm like, bitch, that's your fucking karma, you whore. But that's what you get. That's what you get. And you do not get to complain now. You know? I'm fucking taking my punishment. Taking my punishment as I deserve it. Fuck it. Pues ya que, ¿verdad? Me compro otro pinche coffee. From somewhere else, though. Ooh, thank you, sweet snails, for the badge, girl. Um, I'm using my Kalinsky number 16. Yeah, so let me tell you guys las 
pinches cosas que hacían el Jack in the Box, ¿verdad? I never did like anything super fucked up. I mean, that is kind of fucked up, huh? Reading, heating coffee. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm a coffee lover. I'd be mad as fuck when they give me old ass coffee or they give me some fucked up ass coffee. So I'm like, ugh. I'm sorry, everybody that drank the coffee I gave them. So sometimes people will be like, oh, can I get a decaf or whatever? And mind you, I was in the drive-thru, so I was not in charge of, of brewing coffee. Other people were, but like fast food restaurants, fast food restaurants, they're all about speed of service, honey. And if your speed, your average time is not good, you're going to be in trouble, right? So I blame... The speed of service plus the lazy fucking person in the front who didn't do the coffee every hour or whatever it was. So whenever I would get the order and I'm over here trying to pump the coffee, no I, I was like, dude, like it takes about two minutes or three minutes to brew, but they want that car out of there in like one. So I'm like, I don't got time. I don't fucking got time, bitch. So, lo que caiga. They want a decaf, but I'm like, decaf, yo le voy a dar del regular. <laughs> That's what I would do them. I would give them regular coffee and I'd fucking warm it up too. But at least I would give them hot coffee, you know, not a cold one. I would warm it up. I would warm it up and then give it to them. But... I would always try my best to have the coffee ready, right? Like if I knew um, it was running low, then I'd start another one or whatever. But sometimes it was just too busy. I couldn't keep up. I was at the drive through beach. I was trying to fucking take their order. Be like, um, thank you for... How the fuck do, do we... No, I'm just kidding. Not thank you. They're like, hi, my name is Elaine. How can I help you? Or they'd be like, hi, my name is Elaine. Would you like to try a new Jumbo Jack? Or whatever the fuck, crispy chicken, McDouble, or whatever. <laughs> and then they'd be like, hi, yes, can I get da, 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 da? And I was like, okay, trying to charge the next bitch and all that. Make their fucking drink, get their fucking order. And I still have to fucking brew coffee. Like, at that point, throw that person in the front away. It's crazy working at a fast food restaurant. So if y'all ever go as a customer, please do not be rude. Do not be rude. Or somebody's going to fucking give you a cold coffee on purpose. I worked at IHOP for 10 years. Really? I love IHOP. What the fuck did they do at IHOP? How, how long does it take you to do your nails? It takes me like three hours to do one hand. Old hot coffee. Yeah. And then let me see what else. What else? Um, I think that was one of the only things that I did. And maybe reheated um the fries, but I didn't know that they got hard, you know, after a while. Or like reheated the chicken patties or stuff. But one thing that I did get mad at once was one of my coworkers. So all my life, since I was little, I've I've been told by my mom's. I mean, by my mom that I'm allergic to fish, right? So this one dude, he went around like April or whatever, when the Lent, the Ash Wednesday vibes, what is it called? Um, Around that time of the year, they start serving fish. So he put my chili poppers and the fish patty in the same little oil basket. And I got so fucking mad. I was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know, I'm allergic to this shit. You could fucking kill me. And I told him, I'm like, don't even think about just me, but other people. And then little by little, I started to realize, like, do all these people break all kinds of fucking rules here? So I was like, oh, hell no. And then that's when I realized, like, would I feed this to my fucking kid? No, I would not. And then that's when I stopped doing all of that because I didn't know any better, right? What? A moco? I don't want a moco in my food. The fur, the fries got me crying. I'm sorry if I don't read you guys' comment. Just comment it again because I'm so into my story. I don't even read comments sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm trying to focus on this French too. Que no se me seque, pero I think I fucked it up. I didn't, I did it too, too, to the, to one side. Oh, you need acrylic advice? What's your advice, honey? I mean, what what do you need? What you need? 
I see people out here putting mocos in your food for being a bitch. What? I wait, what? Fuck no. Oh, the fries that I reheated. Yeah, girl, I reheated fries. Bad for what colors? What colors are you using? So this light color is called um peaches and cream. The orange is glow orange, and this one is number two. But if we don't have any more, you can use black hole. How do I prevent runny acrylic? Well, you can't really prevent it. Sometimes some acrylics are more runny, but what you can do to to um control it is hold it in your brush. So let's just say you pick it up, you pick up the acrylic and hold it in your brush. So you guys, I've told this a lot to my TikTok, so pay attention to your to your acrylic. Once it gets shiny, like see how it's getting shinier and shinier as I hold it. That means that it's ready to play. So when they're runny, how do you call it? Um, when they're gonna be runny, they stay like um grainy vibes. Oh, thank you, um, Marta. Thank you, Beauty Galore, for the badge. Sorry, I was looking at my brush. So let's see. I don't know if I have one that dries a little runny here. All of these kind of dry a little faster, especially right now that it's hot. But depending on the temperature, once it starts to get um, once it starts to get cold, most of our products are gonna be uh, what is it called? It's gonna be freaking runny. So to avoid it from going everywhere, just hold it in your brush a few seconds before you place it on the nail. Oh, it is Anna. Okay, Anna Banana se fue a Tijuana de su marido tendiendo la cama. <laughs> Hi, uh, Buncombe girl. What was your name again? I forgot your name. I'm sorry. Yeah, so do that. Hold your acrylic. If it's too runny, it could be also that your brush is too big and it's holding a lot of monomer. But for the most part, runny acrylics, you just need to be patient with them and hold them in your brush a few seconds. Como unos seis Mississippis. Por ahí. Sandra, Sandra. All right, so let me try to fix my French. And um, I think I have a video too talking about it in my in my YouTube channel. There's acrylics that are they set slow and they're runny, and there's some acrylics that set slow and they're not runny. So it applies to all. Just hold them in your in your brush a few seconds before you place them, and they will not run, and they will apply so much better. And again, the temperature does play a role in the dry time, so. For example, what dries fast right now will dry a little bit slower when it's cold. And vice versa, whatever dries super fast. Wait, whatever it takes forever to dry in the winter and the summer will dry normal. I'm not sure what the fuck I said right now, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. If you know what I mean, jelly bean, whatever's runny in the in the average temp temperatures dry slower in the summer. Quisiera traer las uñas como tú y trabajar así de fácil. Pues practica, amiga, si se puede, si se puede. Pero pues, okay, let's talk about the nail length. If you guys want to have long nails, si quieres tener las uñas así grandotas, chingononas como yo, no me las crecí de un día para otro. I have been doing my nails for years. Entonces, yo he estado haciéndome mis uñas por como unos 10 años, ¿ok? Pero poco a poquito le fui aumentando como una, un centimeter al mes. So, un... un Una cosa que si te puedo decir, like, okay, if you guys want to grow out your nails every month, um, leave them on and then soak them and right away do your nails because then you'll already be used to that new growth and you won't bump your nails and stuff. It takes some time to get used to it. Uh, colder makes dry time longer. Yes, yes, yes. So when the temperature is colder, our acrylics dry a lot slower our gels get harder though. What the hell? Yes, that happens. Yes, it do. 
yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know that, you're welcome. So it's good to have a variety of acrylics. Some that dry fast, some that dry slow, some that dry in the middle. Because, how to call it, they're good for different temperatures, right? But the best thing is to know your product. Because even if you have runny acrylics, you can be their bitch. You can make them your bitch. I mean, um, you just need to learn to control them. That's it. You know, it's kind of like your kids. You need to learn to control your fucking kids. Once you learn to control your kids, boom. Piece of cake, okay? Hi, Anna. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of marble here. Oh, you know, this hand doesn't do good marbles. I don't know when I'm gonna have another class. I was actually just thinking about that earlier. Like I wanna I wanna have a, a physical class, but then I don't really like to have classes in the in the winter because the stuff takes forever to dry. If you run out of monomer fast, does that mean your brush is picking up too much? Yes. What size brush do you have? So the bigger the brush, the more it sucks. It's kind of like a car. If you have a bigger engine or whatever the fuck more gas you use, you don't know, or something like that. I don't fucking know actually about cars. Maybe I shouldn't talk about shit. I don't know. But you know what I mean? The smaller the brush, the less the less you use. So that's another thing with like runnier acrylic. I normally, um, I downgrade brush. So if you have acrylic that is a little bit more slower and it, it kind of like goes everywhere... When you place it, um, I just use a smaller brush when I'm doing that type of, when I'm doing that type of, um, colors. What size is the best for beginners? I would say a size 12. Let me put this here. I would say a size 12 is, is good. 8 to 12. Depending on the company and the number, you know, like for us in my brand, the brushes run a little sl smaller. So a 12 sounds like it's going to be big, but it's not. It's like a nice size for a beginner. I'm loving these. I don't know what they're giving, but they're giving something. I started with an A because my nail beds are small. Yeah, when I started to do nails, I also, hi, Sarah. I also started with an 8, and then I think I got a number 10, and then I a few years later, I got a number 12, but that shit was big compared to what I have. I was like, love, that's a big brush. I don't know if I can handle. It's giving Halloween like spooky, spooky skeletons. That one? I love that song. I'm trying to do something Halloween, but not too, too Halloween. But, you know, like, for people who want to still wear the colors, but not really, like, like, Halloween, Halloween. You know what I mean? Well, who the fuck knows? Maybe I'll end up with a freaking spider up in here still. My favorite is the size 16. Yes, that one is my favorite, too. I feel like that one is perfect size for me. Pinche flitter. Zule, what color are you doing in the thumb? Um, on the thumb, I think I'm gonna do it maybe like my like my middle finger. I really love that. Or what do you guys think? Or should I just do glitter? What do you guys think I should do on the thumb? Do you guys like this now? The middle finger? I'm not done with it yet, but I'm really digging that. Yes, loving the middle. All black, orange and black ombre. Ay, matenme. <laughs> um, oh, Emperor Jafar. I don't think I have that one. The ring finger style. Okay, that one's nice too, huh? Maybe just the glitter. Can you do orange by itself? Ooh, do black and glitter pinky. Okay, match the pinky. Okay, fine. I'll do... All right, we'll meet in the middle and we'll match the pinky with the glitter. Because if I try to do this nail, is I don't think it's... 
I mean, it's going to fit, but it's going to be too hard. Match the pinky. Glitter. Glitter. Gl I like the middle and the ring finger. I know I like those two. I like this marble better, though. All right. I'm just going to do it like the pinky then, you know, because lo que dice el público. But I'm going to do it um backwards. Use your witchcraft one. What? I don't have... I don't have a witchcraft one. ¿Cómo se llama ese? I don't remember. Do I have a witchcraft one? Evil witch. Wicked dreamer. Yes, backwards. Yes, I'm going to do it backwards. Yeah, I'm only going to do orange and black today. I'm not going to add any extra colors. Because I just want to use those two. Oh, I think that was the name. Do glitter, then black. Will you have to seal this with clear? Yes, you do. You have to always encapsulate. Um, Which, which? I have, oh, I had Wicked Dreamer, Evil Witch. Um, What else do I have? Um... I can't remember the fucking names right now, to be honest. Um, Wicked Witch of the West? I just kidding. I don't fucking know. Okay, 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 okay. ¿Qué dices? Seven Increíbles. Gracias, amiga. Gracias. I'm fucking sweating bullets tonight, guys. Está caliente. I think it's Wicked Witch. Oh, is that the one that's kind of like um burgundy-ish or whatever? Wicked Dreamer, maybe, is that one. What color is it, Ana? I do want to use that color next, actually. The wick... No, 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 Wicked Dreamer. Um, Dude, I cannot think. Myra, are you in here? What's the color that you wore that I really like? Was it Wicked Dreamer? You're super neat with it. I try my best to be as precise as possible. No, it has green, black, orange. Oh, Hocus Pocus. It's either Hocus Pocus or Evil Witch. Oh, I love that one. If it's from last year's collection, it's Evil Witch. Oh, beautiful. That one is my favorite. My favorite. So, yeah, you guys want to make sure... Yes, Wicked Dreamer. Oh, so beautiful. I need to use that one too. And then the other one, Dark Magician. I ah, just kidding. Um, wait, what the fuck is it called? Um, there's another one. That's purple. What's the purple one called? I'm gonna try to bring it down. What was the purple one called? Wicked Dreamer is no wait. The purple one. What is it called? Dark Magic. Dark Magic is a purple one. That one, we were inspired by the Dark Magician. I like how Black Hole looks silky when it dries. Huh? Oh, imagine it stay like that. So if you guys are into El Yu-Gi-Oh! That's where we got inspired by that color. Because um, we like the Dark Magician. Andale, and the evil witch does the name. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. It's on and popping. Yes. I think I'm gonna have to go to the pumpkin patch that's right here by my house with these nails because they look a little pumpkin patchy, huh? The middle finger, actually. I'm gonna have to put a pumpkin on it. And the thumb. Can you go live next time you do lovely Mimi's nails? Um, I don't always get to go live with her. Um, last time we did go live on TikTok, so make sure if you guys don't have your notifications on. For the lives or whatever, or just anything, whatever you like, so you don't miss out, turn them on. But here and there, we do go live. All right, so that's the application. Super, super thin. You don't need a lot. Excuse me. Why are you crying? Why are you crying, um, Janie? I thought my favorite was the middle, but now it's the thumb. Huh, and they look super pretty just like that. Like, even if we were not to put no bling, like, it'd be cute, you know? Like, what? Who am I? 
Hi, Crazy Queen. ¿Cómo estás, amiga? Bienvenida. Here and there, make sure to stock my stories. Oh, the pumpkin patch. I know. I passed by it yesterday and I was like, hi. Hi. Yeah, so this one is Glow Orange. For those of you guys who haven't tried our Glow Collection, it's amazing. I'm going to show you guys how they glow when I'm done. All right, so let me get more Manama. This hand is my... Oh, I love it so much. That's why I don't want to take it off. I do not... Would you be able to handle not having bling, though? Yes, I could, actually. Like, I could put, like, a minimal bling. Only because... I already had, like, a huge-ass fucking bling last time. I'm okay with not having it sometimes, you know? Like, I take turns. Look at my other tampon dish. So cute. I put my clear acrylic in there. <laughs> this is going to be my clear acrylic damping dish. You guys can find these on the website now, okay? This iridescent one is also there. It's like the purple one, but iridescent. What tripod are you using to hold? I'm actually not using a tripod. Well, I'm not sure what this would be considered. It's kind of like um, it's a, like a clamp for your table. It's from Archon Mounts. All right, so let's encapsulate. I should probably use a bigger brush, but... Hi, Karen. Um, no, I'm still going to put bling, but we were just talking about, like, it'd be nice without bling, but we're still going to put some. I don't know how much, but I'm going to put bling. Yeah, the iridescent one is so pretty. We had um, this dampen dish before in the past, and it sold out a long time ago, and I just never brought it back. Because I don't really have a lot of space for like extra stuff like that. But it's been highly requested. So I was like, okay, fine. Fine. Me do for you. Oh shit, I got some bubbles in there. Get, 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 get. I was getting some head. Getting, getting some head. Eh, just kidding. I was getting some bubbles. I was. <laughs> Zule's claws can't be naked. No, no, no. They'll be like, ¿Qué tienes, güey? Estás de preo, que vergas. Ah, tengo calor. Patrick, can you turn on the AC, please? Ay, se me cayó. Se me cayó. Cayó. It's fucking hot today. Alexa, what's the weather like right now? Right now in Beaumont, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. What the fuck? 64 degrees? Is it la menopause for real then? Alexa, shut the fuck up. Alexa, cállate. That's exactly how we, we'd be for real. We'd be like, Zule, I'm, I'm going to FaceTime your ass. Well, I guess it's cold, but I don't feel cold, bitch. I feel hot as fuck. Loki, guys, you know, I've been telling you guys, I think I'm going through menopause. I'm going, oh, yeah, I feel the AC already. Yes, 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 yes. It's not in popping, yes. I'm in Idaho. It's 53 out here missing the Cali weather, girl. Sounds like you need a Zule hoodie. We have Zule nails hoodies now for those of you guys. Oh, que la verga. Let me just grab it with this one. For those of you guys who are z -hos in different area codes, you guys could be representing the Z, the big cartel gang on the streets. They're not available on the website. Oh, your Alexa's listening? Pinche Alexa metiche. Non-dominant hand challenge. Keep bead while changing hands. <laughs> For real. Oh, I hate it. It fucking falls. So now I have to pick it up. I have to pick it up with the same hand. Lord. Okay, I guess that's the challenge for me now. I hate that I get a hoodie during the... I hate that I didn't get a... Girl, it was not your fault. They were a little hidden. 
They were under uh, the fucking armrest. I'm like, dude. I, I totally forgot to tell people about it. I was so fucking into mi calculador. I was here like, let me charge you. You want to take a picture? I love how Patrick was ripping the hoodie, right? I gave it to him because... Okay, so let me not say it too loud because then he's not going to feel special. I was going to give him one regardless, but I ended up giving him that one in advance because when my mom was packaging them... She saw that it was, it wasn't like damaged or anything like that, but it had like a little, like a little wrinkle that didn't go away in like the pocket, right? And then, so I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to sell that one because I don't think somebody would like it. I mean, it wasn't like super noticeable, but still like in my brain, I'm like, nah, I can't do that. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to give it to Patrick. It was a 3XL. fits him a little bit big. But the next day when I pick him up, I'm like, oh, my God, he's wearing his sweater. I was like, yes, honey. Yes. I was upset we didn't get any of the gels because they were on the side away from us. I know. I feel bad for some people, too, because I feel like they couldn't really reach the acrylics. Um, the way the line was formed, like some Either people got acrylics or they got gels, but I don't think some everybody was able to get both because they were shy or something. Si, sí, si sí, me hablan en español, yo les respondo en español, ¿ok? Um, ahorita que estoy encapsulando, tengo que ir con cuidadito porque el mío, excuse me, mi acrílico se seca rápido, especialmente ahorita que está un medio calorcito aquí adentro de mi casa. Ahorita que se empieza a enfriar, van a ver que, es, que se seca más despacio. So, para el tiempo de frío, este es perfect. So, my a clear acrylic dries fucking fast right now. That's why I'm going a little at a time because, honey. um, The whole line situation. I know it was a whole ass mess. But... What could we do about it? We couldn't... I hated the fact that the DJ was right next to us. Like, dude, how the fuck are we going to talk? You know, like, if somebody had a question, I feel like we had to fucking yell at each other. Like, <laughs> So that was uh, the issue number one. And then the lines, how we were. Like, there was... Yeah, it was just hard to make lines, separate lines or whatever. But, I mean, overall, it was fun. We can't complain. Well, it was fun for me. I don't know about y'all. The I want the picture you took of us. Please send it. Well, text me, Noel. Y te la mando. I'm upset because I didn't get to see you and Mimi. I couldn't go and stand long line or walk due to my surgery. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Maybe in the future, I'll have something else closer. Well, I don't know where the fuck you guys live, but like normally when I have my classes, I always have like a little store too. Like it's not like a whole ass pop up, but. I do let you guys come and buy. So if and when I do that again, you guys can definitely come by. Less people, less line, less everything. Hi, Fernando. ¿Cómo estás? I need that pink armrest. I'm not sure if we have any left. I just um saw the box earlier and we had like three but or something like that. But we're still fulfilling the orders. So if there's any left over, um, I will let you guys know. And if you really, really want that armrest, text me. So if we have an extra one, you grab it real quick. Porque once I put them on the website, again, like they fly like hot tamales. ¿Cuánto cuestan unas uñas así? Así nomás, con, con nada, más de 150, amiga. De este tamaño. Sin nada. Yeah, on the website it's sold out because, how to call it, I only add a few at a time, so I don't oversell them. I took them to the pop-up, so I only put a limited amount on the website. And then um, I save the rest for the pop-up. So I've been um 
adding a few to the website. And um, once we fulfill all the orders and there's no more that's ordered, then I can add what we have left. I really wanted it so bad. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I Loki, I think I even kept two of them. So maybe I could unscrew one and give you that one. We'll sell it to you. Not give. It's not free, honey. But I used it as a sample. Because luego todos van a querer. Yo quiero no free. Yo quiero no free. No, no, no hay nada free, amigas. No, 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 no. I have something fucking stuck in my tooth. What the hell? I, I, oh, you live in Florida? Ooh. Um, I'm not sure who was saying that they wanted to meet Mimi, but she's going to have another pop-up. She's going to have another pop-up in San Diego, I think she said next month. So if you guys want to go meet lovely Mimi, she's going to have a pop-up next month. I don't think there's a date yet, but go follow her. Go check her out. She's going to do something in San Diego with Not Polish. So you guys are Not Polish fans. And lovely Mimi fans, you guys don't want to miss that. But anyway, what should we talk about? What do you guys want to talk about now? We already talked about Jack in a Box experience. We talked about a few other things. I can't remember. I'm trying to make them as perfect as possible. <clears throat> Because, honey, why are you not going to San Diego with her? Girl, that's far. That is far. My body is tired. Como que una vez al año no hace daño, pero más de eso sí. I, I can't hang doing that too often. It's a lot of work for me. Because y'all already saw the shit that we got to bring. And this time around, we didn't bring that much. Like last year. If you guys came to our pop-up last year, we had way more little shits. So, it's definitely a struggle to haul it, to prep it in advance, like fill the acrylics and all that shit. Mm -mm. And then still have to do the regular orders and things like that. It's just like a lot of work. And then standing there is exhausting, you know, like... I love it, but I can't do it too much. It's like doing classes. I can't personally do it too much because I want to love everything that I do. And it's como el pinche sexo, amiga. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but if you guys andan teniendo sexo todos los días, como que no sabe igual. In my opinion, now that I'm old, you know, porque cuando uno está joven, pues quiere todos los días, ¿verdad? <laughs> Y luego, I volunteer as an assistant. Is your number? Oh, shit. Fucking shit. Hold on. Mm. Hey, Dule, are you having Black Friday sale or mystery box? Yes, we are going to have a mystery box. Um, But I, I'm, I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to have the mystery box early November or regular time. I think I'm lucky loving more your ring finger. Yeah, verdad? Porque it's different. It's different. All right, let me thicken this up. Right? Yeah, y'all laughing because it's true. Yeah, like, ain't hey, nobody got the same energy as we used to. So. It kind of gives me, like, tiger. Tiger. Ram, ram, ram. My rheumatoid arthritis would not allow me to stand that long. Oh, it's okay, girlfriend. Maybe we can have some chairs next time. Yeah, it was fun, but damn, my feet hurt, right? Mine too. Y eso que tenía chanclas. So I ended up buying these cute little shoes, sandal, chanclitas, vibes, that match my shirt, blouse, whatever the fuck. But then they kept sliding. When we had to, like, unload the truck. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit before I eat shit here. I'm just going to switch to my little chanclas de algodón casi. The, I mean, that clouds. And that's just what I kept the whole time. I was like, fuck that. Fuck the looking cute. It's not like anybody seen my feet anyway. And so, yeah, I kept my little chanclas. 
But yeah, props to people who work in retail stores or anywhere that you just need to stand in one fucking place for all day. Oh, you know. I'm more used to sitting. That's why my body hurts more. So when you are becoming a nail tech or whatever and you're not used to sitting, the first couple months is hell. Like your back will hurt because you're not used to it. Yay, I'm excited. I'm saving up for your stuff. Yes, so for the holidays, we're going to have a mystery box. Excuse me. We're going to have, oh, fuck, a mystery box. We're going to bring the lamps. We're going to bring our lamps back. Hola de Venezuela. Hola. And what else? What else are we having? I don't know what else. I still can't think. How can I purchase a UV lamp? Um, You have to wait until the holidays, my friend, porque ya no tenemos... I only put up the ones that we had extra from the pop-up because I had only ordered a rushed amount for the pop-up. I was like peer pressuring. I was like, please, I need them for my pop-up. I already promised. All right, so I'm just trying to encapsulate this stupid nail. And because the fucking... The, the 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 French is kind of high. I'm gonna I'm trying to go around it. Maham 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 maham. Look it. So it looks like it has a little hump. I'm just gonna add a little bit more here and boom. Woo! Thank you guys. Whoever is tapping the little screen, I appreciate you guys. You don't have to tap, um, because Instagram doesn't do nothing special for us here. You guys can take a break tonight, but if you wanna keep tapping it because you're just used to it, fuck it. Thug Life. Thank you very much. And then I'm just going to file that piece off in a little bit. So trust the process, okay? That ring finger now looks like a hidden mask. Ooh. I had to work in a high-end department. Oh, I bet they... I... oh, man. You had to stand for 10 hours? I know. The uh you can get those badges though. Mm-hmm. Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, Noel, you text me? All right, ask me a question. Somebody ask me a question so we could keep chatting porque <sighs> this encapsulating is an, uh, kind of boring to me. I hate encapsulating my nails. I hate it. No, hombre, yo no pudiera estar standing up. De por sí, ya tengo las pinches patas bien gordas y hinchadas naturalmente. This brush is a size 16. Can we what? A full set for two small cute puppies? I don't want no more dogs. No, no, no. No, no, no. I have been awake since 4.30. Girlfriend, go to sleep. I asked you how long do I let my finger heal? Oh, um, without a nail, I would say at least two months, Ariel. Do you have a nail? My French is still sucking. Um, do you do acrylics French or gel French? Don't sleep on the lamp, y'all. No, no, no. It's satisfying watching you apply acrylic. Okay, even if I'm struggling, huh? Tell me why I was doing my nails earlier and four fingers in. I realized I hadn't prepped. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. But you know what? It happens. To oh, pinche chingadera. Don't worry. It happens to us all. You guys want to know something funny? When I was a beginner, I would forget to fucking put primer on people. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, should I tell a customer or not? And I would not say shit. I would just prep the second hand. <laughs> I can never encapsulate. It always comes out like crystally. So if, if your clear becomes like has bubbles, it's because you're either applying to dry. You need to get a bigger brush. Or if it's like crystally, is the AC or the air is right directly on it. So it's... It's crystallizing a different way. 
I used to do that too. Okay. I forgot what I said. I finally remember not to forget. Okay, 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 okay. I oh, okay, okay, okay. They're forgetting to prep. Yeah, it's happened to all of us. Don't worry. That's why I go a little bit at a time because, like I said, my acrylic dries fairly fast. So to avoid the bubbles, I try to go a little bit wet. I apply a little bit of wet and a little bit at a time. I wish I was your neighbor, had my nails done always. Actually, and I would not do your nails as my neighbor because I don't do nails here in my house. <laughs> Maybe if you were my neighbor at the salon, but I don't do my neighbor's nails. I've only done one of my neighbors, but I, I don't. I've only done it once or twice. But I don't do nails here at home. Only my own. And Mimi, of course. Ha what? You have to burp it. Oh my god, you literally just went over the today in class. Ah. Burp. Burp. I forget to prep my left hand too. Ooh. Yeah, so don't worry. It's a thing. People forget to prep all the time. Especially when you're in, in the be in, in the beginner stage. I love your Hello Kitty nails. Thank you. But if you were my sister, then that's something else. Let me do your nails, Zule. No te mueres si me haces mis uñas grandotototas. Not a lot of people like to do long ass nails. And I do not do shorties. Burp the brush. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Burp who? What happens if you forget? Pues se va a caer la pinche uña. That's what's going to happen. But it's okay. They're coming off next weekend. Okay. But yeah, so go like this to your brush in your monomer to release all the little bubbles that they have. Like a little trap air. I'm your sister from another mister. I know you guys are all my, y'all my hoes. I would love to do your nails, huh? I should let people do my nails here and there. I've only let... Well, Mimi has only done my nails once. I should have her do my nails again, huh? That would be a kind of cool... A cool video. I have some little tips. I'm so intimidated by the length. Don't be intimidated, girl. Are you ever coming to sell outside of Cali? No, I don't think so. I don't think I'm ever going anywhere outside of Cali with my stuff. Um, be first of all, because, um, como que it's, it's a hassle, you know, to drive with all that. Y luego, I don't want anything to go wrong with the products, you know, especially when it's hot or cold or whatever. Like, no, I don't think I could do that. If I did, it would be for a class and I just ship it in advance, but it wouldn't be like a lot. No, I don't do pedicures. I do my own, but that's it. So I'm just trying to thicken up the nail because it looks a little skinny. I don't want to break it. Están hermosas. Gracias, amiga. I love my nail longs. Only annoying thing is stubbing my fingers everywhere. Oh, Lord, I know. I fucking hate that shit. I'm a beat security. <laughs> Mm, what's the best brush you recommend to use the gas work great for what the brush i recommend all my brushes honey all my brushes i recommend if you guys have not tried any of my brushes or any of my products you playing honey like all my stuff is from a nail tick to a nail tick for a nail tick or whatever so Trust me when I say my shit is good. It's good. It's quality. I only do senora nails. Oh, I don't want to ever do senora nails. I'll be so disappointed with me. Now, I understand people wear natural nails, you know, or like shorter nails. I have clients who do that too. And it's okay. But, how to call it, I can't wear them. I would, matame mejor, amiga. I won't be able to do shit. Tips, 
on a crisp shape what grip files do you use um if you want it to be super crisp and snatched i would say a 80 or a 100 grip file you guys will see right now when i start filing these files be sharp as fuck and for those of you guys who like our square files um, they were out of stock for a little bit, but they just came in. You guys, I don't know if you guys could tell the difference now. Oh, man, what's that? Little dust. I got, um, my, I mean, my clear acrylic is drying slower because the AC's on. Earlier, I had to go a little bit faster because se me estaba secando la verga. Pero ya no, because the AC's on. Tengo una pregunta. Pregúntame, pero pregúntame, amiga. Wow. Hey, you don't sell files in packs, do you? Yes, we do. We do, actually. We sell them in 25 packs. Um, The square ones and the curvy ones are five packs. I mean, 25 packs. And the curved pink ones, they come in a 20 pack, I believe. A 20 pack or 18 pack. I don't know what the math is. But yes, we do sell them in packs. So if you guys want to save some money long term, I recommend you get the pack because they're bomb. We even sell the buffers in packs. Packs of 10. Me encantan están bellas. Gracias, Angie. All right. ¿Qué más quieren saber de mí? Si ustedes son nuevas, if you guys are new here, you've never been here before, and you're enjoying the show or whatever, ask ask me something so we could talk. I had a new client, and this bitch asked me to do her nails. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't like and look nasty or short nails, so now I'm like, maybe I should not do her nails. Look, my friend, Jazzy, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to show you ugly nails. And I understand because you're like, dude, that's my fucking work. Like, how am I going to let this bitch walk out with ugly shit, right? But I have learned to accept them and their ugly tastes, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like clothing, you know? People got ugly tastes or whatever. And as nail techs, we shouldn't really judge. You let them, but just don't post them. That's what I do. If I don't like your nails because they're too basic or whatever, like, I'm not going to post them anymore. I used to post everything before, but you just need to post the things you're trying to attract, the customers you're trying to attract. So if you're going to post weird ass nails that are ugly, that's what you're going to attract. Okay. If you want Buchona clients, that's all you going to post. You can still take their, their, um, you can still do their nails, um, take their business but just don't post it, you know, and that's it. And if they be like, why didn't you post my nails? Then be like, girls, because uh, they were just not it or something, you know, or you just don't got to tell them. But um, that's just what I do now. I, I don't want to attract people who want short nails because I already have enough of those. So I try to not post them. I just try to post my own nails stuff, you know. Ajá, ya sé, Jazzy. A mí me tocó una vez. Una de mis amigas trató de play nail tech. I'm at a little bit here. I had a fucking friend years ago that she tried to play nail tech. And she tried to design her own nails. And they were so fucking ugly. But that was what she wanted. So I was like, okay, girl, that is fugly. Pero who am I to tell you? Like, if you're my client and you tell me, Zuley, don't ever let me walk out with ugly shit, then... I'm going to tell you, but if you don't, I'm not because I don't want to hurt your feelings, right? And you like what you like. That's not my fucking problem. Um, I mean, not my problem, but like that's none of my business, you know? And so how to call it? She designed every finger, every color, everything at, at the end. Se la hice, ¿verdad? Yes, I'm going to add bling. And she didn't like them. But at that point, that's her problem. She designed them. She, I just did the nails, you know. She didn't like her color coordination or just the, the vision that she had. It wasn't good, you know. So after that, she was like, bye, I'm never coming here again. But that was not my fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if she came back or not. But 
yeah, after that, I was like, okay. I posted them in Snapchat back then, and a lot of my regulars were like, Zule, what the fuck is that? You did not do that, huh? I'm like, no, that was a client's request. And they're like, yeah, I knew that. You wouldn't come up with that shit. And I started laughing, and then they're like, don't ever let me walk out like that, all right? And I was like, all right, bitch. So your clients will tell you, like, if they see something ugly in your page or whatever, they're going to be like, dude, don't ever let me pick stupid colors like that ever again or shit like that, you know? Somewhere along those lines, they'll be like, don't let me do that. And you're like, okay, girl. Tu dime, tu dime. Or like sometimes your friend is like, dude, if my outfit don't match, fucking tell me. Tell me. If I look like a pendeja, tell me. All right. 20 years later of encapsulating, we're going to file next. Hold on, guys. Let me close my cup. All right. I don't think Mace is in here, but I'm Mason number two. I'm going to be using my handy dandy file 80 by 100. And this one I've already used a few times, actually. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I've been using it for quite a while. These are washable. Um, if you guys want to reuse them, you can wash them with soap and water and disinfect them. Um, but normally, the, the files, you need to dispose of them after each use. You know, but if you guys have the time and you want to do that, you can. That's why you could use it a lot of times because it's super, super sharp. All right, I'm just going to give this one a couple seconds because I need to put it under my nail. So let me show you guys my nail sideways. Oh, you're here. Oh, driving. Be careful, Mason. Oh, you're going back to work. Meanwhile, I'm going to file this one down here because I have a little bubble. extra sharp if you guys haven't got these files you need to you guys are gonna see this bump disappear quickly right now i'm just gonna file the side a little bit meanwhile my thumb dries and you guys will see the magic the magic so one side is are you drying not dry yet so let me show you guys my nails look it's not being shown yet by that way because of the fucking charm which one do you guys like better the orange or the pink so you guys know that it's dry when it starts to make tapping noises and i didn't encapsulate it all the way i don't know if you guys could see because <clears throat> If I were to put more on the nude, I'm going to have to file it off anyway. So you don't want to do unnecessary filing. What the fuck, bitch? I just started to get... um. What? You guys like the orange? You guys are toxicas. All right, let's start filing. I'm just kidding. What products do I need to start doing gel X? You need, um, I actually have a kit for that. Check out my website. It has everything you need for the Joe X. And it's only $100. I bought Zule files and it took my sets to a sharper level. Orange. Okay, Zach, you still here? What are you doing, Zach? I knew you guys were going to like this. I was like, I've already done orange before, but it was not bright. So I was like, we need to do a bright set. So I struggle filing my nails. That's why I try my best to make them as smooth as possible or whatever. But I still have to like file look. So let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the thickness of the nails. The bumpy lumpy one is this one. But don't worry. A little filing will fix that little extra lumpy lumpiness. What if you have a hook finger? Joe X seems difficult. Um, that's a very good question. I've never done that. Oh, you're working on Scooby Doo nails? Okay, I can't wait to see those. 
I cannot wait to see your Scooby Doo nails. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? The orange is fire. This girl is on fire. All right, hold on. Ay, Diosito. The struggle is real. It's giving me geisha vibes. I low key feel like I was a geisha. Wait, what's a geisha again? No, I'm I'm lying. That's not what I'm trying to say. The ones with those a gypsy is what I was trying to say. Uh, I I feel like I'm I was a gypsy in my past life because I love sparkly shit. I love the bling bling. Zule, put your finger in the top of the gel polish. It's slightly easier to file. Girl, I still struggle. The pinky, I learned this from Vanessa Nails, how she does all these kind of gang signs. And I was like, oh, girl, that looks easier. But I can only do that to my pinky to kind of hold it steady. I see me in a gang sign. Like, where are you from, bitch? I'm doing a Dia de los Muertos set this weekend. Ooh, so excited. I'm taking a break now. This drawing shit ain't it. It's fucking hard, but you got it. You got it. Egyptian vibes. Let me check it out. All right, the next finger, honey. Uh huh. Like, where you from, bitch? I'm from um, Zule Nail Big Cartel Gang, honey. Oh, okay, okay. I don't fuck with you. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> all right, all right. Honey, what we'll grip file you use? I'm using 80 by 100. Blah, all right, all right. I don't fuck with you. That's right. <laughs> yeah, when I was in high school, they'd be like, where you from? Like, bitch, what do you mean? When I was a fake wannabe Cholita Sin Barrio vibes, I'd be like, what you mean? I, I don't know what they meant. What do you mean where I'm from? From my mom's stomach, bitch? Where else? Girl, my carpal tunnel don't let me work like that. Oh, no, honey. What's the difference between each side? The grit. One is softer than the other one. So, okay. So, 80 by 100 means one side is 80. The other one is 100. Well, actually, this one is 100. This one is 80. You can tell by the... um, If you feel it. Right now, it's already a little used and abused. So, it's kind of hard to tell. But when they're new, you can tell. So, just one side is rougher than the other. Aha. Uh -huh. Straight out the womb. Yeah, because my mom had a C-section. So, I couldn't say from my mom's panocha. Because I never went through there, you know? I went through her stomach, honey. Aha. Uh -huh. From the texture, yes. I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes I cannot explain. I cannot explain very good. But it just means one side is one grid, the other one's the other. So the smaller the number, the rougher the file is. The bigger the number, the smaller it is. Love watching you bomb nails and comedy at the same time. Hell yeah! It's like I have to put on a show pa que vengan las perras, si no no vienen. But if you guys ever take a class with me, I do the same thing, okay? So I try to make it fun. Although sometimes I'm like, what if there's somebody in here, in, like in the classes, in the room? I'm be like, what if people don't like, what if people don't like that shit? Because I'd be saying all kind of dick jokes and shit. <laughs> if you been to my class, bitch, you fucking no, honey. You didn't get no cho, cho, cho juices. <laughs> nope. All I had was Raina's fucking big head on me. Even though you swear you're shy. Yeah, I am shy. I could be shy. I need to learn how to get more talkative like you. Well, come hang out with me and you will. Se pega, eh? Se pega todo eso. So if you guys want to learn to talk, you want to learn to do lives, you want to learn to do nails, you want to learn to be a cochina or whatever, just join the lives, honey. All the time. All the time and you will do... I can't harass you for my press-ons anymore. I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, harass me for the other hand because I only did one so far. 
<laughs> When's the next class? I don't know yet. But I do all my classes here in California. So if you guys are not from California. All right, guys, look, check it out. Check it out. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to do a little bit of lipo to this abdomen of the nail okay she doesn't want that belly no more she wants to get rid of it i'm so scared i'll say something crazy the voice in my head are not always appropriate mine neither don't worry look just like that it's gone now we gotta fix the wrist i'd be so oh i already read that do you do one-on-one -on -one nail classes? I used to do them years ago. I have not offered a one-on-one -on -one class in a long time. Only because I go to the salon very limited. And it's for my nail clients. Zule, imagínate que hayas tenido una hija. You would have had two more hands to make more nails says hell no nah, i don't think if i were to have a daughter she wouldn't like nails ma'am i leave for houston a week from saturday <laughs> well i could always just send them to jimena just in case you know i could send them to her house aren't you gonna go to her just to make sure they arrive on time but don't worry i think i'm gonna work on them on thursday He's like, I wanted to wear them to the air part. <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. These nails looking fly. Tengo la boca sucia. Yo también. Por eso me caen bien ustedes. Porque todas somos cochinas. <sighs> okay, it's looking a little sculpted here. You guys have to remember to check all angles because one angle will show you it looks good and the other will say the otherwise. Ever since your class, I fell in love with hand filing. Right? It's like a different, a different way of doing nails. Like, it's cool to use the electric file, but I feel like hand filing. Um, as long as, how to call it, um, what the fuck was he? I feel like hand filing just gives you a better structure, I guess, of the nail. As long as you could get them out by Tuesday, we'll be good. Ah, um, gel X or press ons better. It's preference, whatever you like, honey. Yeah, this nail is still a little funky on this side, so let me file a little bit more. I like to look. I like to look through the barrel of the nail. I love the idea. So I take forever. Me too. Yeah, you get you have more control over the hand file than the electric file because sometimes, um, especially when you're doing long nails, the bits are so little, right? Now, there's a big-ass bit, but back then, we didn't have that bit, so it was kind of hard. No, I do not sell press-ons. I only do them for fun right now. Maybe in the near future, I will sell some, but right now, I'm still trying to perfect them. Hola, Beatriz. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás, amiga? Bien, y tú? Aquí chingándole las uñas. Okay. Wait, did I file that one? I don't remember. I feel like I'm getting better at like doing my opposite hand. Well, at least today. Today, these nails are actually fucking getting worked. Work, 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 work. Muy bien. Que bueno, amiga. Que bueno que todos estén bien. Happy Tuesday, by the way. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to record for my YouTube channel. So, if you guys... My comments are visible. Yeah, I could see you. Um, 
¿Cómo se dice? I'm gonna, I'm gonna record my client, one of my clients tomorrow. So I, I'll put it on YouTube. If you guys have not followed my YouTube channel, what the fuck are you doing, honey? The way you answer yourself is que pues se tardan en contestarme, so I need to keep talking. Okay, hold on. You, they look so crisp. Me encantó este shape. Gracias. Es la lima, amiga. Es la lima, mira. My, my duende was commenting. I don't know what he said. You're duende? You have a duende, psycho? I heard duendes are real. I hope that's not your kid's nickname because that shit's gonna scar me. I mean, I hope it's your kid, not a real duende. I follow you. All right. Thank you, guys. Make sure to check out my recent video of the mummy nails. They came out so fucking cute. How oh, you kind of file this corner over here? All right. There you go. I was, oh, man. You know what? This one should have been deeper, like down here deep. That's what she said. Can you cure gel X with the same lamp you cure gel polish with? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And that's what you should be using, actually. The mummy nails came out so cute, huh? I was so shook that they came out good. I've been trying to do a tutorial for that fucking little bat French. Um, like a shorter tutorial, more detailed. So stay tuned if you guys want to try one of those and you just be like, what the hell do they? I need further instruction. That was not enough. Don't worry. It's coming. I'm going to record it soon. Right now I'm drinking my cafe. Um, is my Shaween in here? Shaween, are you in here? Who was it who told me they didn't like my coffee combination? Who was it you? I'm so excited to do my next set. I got multi chrome. Ooh. Was it you the one who told me that? Yeah, you didn't like it for real? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, she's joking. But it's so good. Oh, fuck. I almost dropped it. That's what I'm drinking right now. <laughs> Why? What didn't you like? You didn't like the... Was it too strong for you or what? It was too much coffee? Estaría genial que hicieras un set egipcio. Oh, nunca he hecho eso. Was it too much caffeine for you or what? Must be a boy doing the thing. I can't do pumpkin anything. Ah, okay, but I guess a pumpkin taste. Oh, okay. Well, the pumpkin one is an option. I, I normally don't do pumpkin because I don't have it all year round. But if you want to give it another try with no pumpkin, then that's normally how I drink it. But because I'm a pumpkin girl, I add the pumpkin foam. I need some Halloween nails done. All right, hold on, guys. I was like, she didn't like it. Why not? I was thinking maybe it's too strong for you. But yeah, the pumpkin is not for everybody, for sure. Are these pink nails posted? Yes, they are. They are on my YouTube channel and on my feed. You can find them on my feed if you just want to look at them. I love the pumpkin, but I understand not everybody likes pumpkin, so. I was like, what happened, Shawin? Are you lying to me? I do ice chicken espresso. I used to drink that one, too, but sometimes it's a little too bitter. So that's why I do the blonde rose espresso. I don't know if they have a, a chicken espresso with blonde rose, if that's a thing or not, but. Click, 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 click. But I like the blonde rose better. It's smoother. Or I'm going to use my little Valentino. I should have been using it from the beginning, but. I need a taller chair. 
Yeah, Dutch Bros does have it, but to be honest, I feel like it doesn't even taste like anything. It doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't taste like as pumpkin as Starbucks. So sometimes I get it, the, the foam. I've been wanting to try their pumpkin drink, actually. <laughs> Anything pumpkin flavor sent from the devil. Zach, no. All right, guys. So this is the XL bit that I was talking about earlier. Oh, I wish it was. It was invented sooner, but it was not. I have 42 Zule gels. Woohoo! Woohoo! So I'm just gonna try to get into my cuticle with this. Girl, I would never have the patience to do my own nails. Woo! For real? Back then, I didn't have patience, but now I love it. Especially because I come live with you guys. If I were to do them by myself, I would get hella frustrated. Annoyed, bored. That's why it comes cheese me out. Actually, I need to file this out a little bit more. The bit that Mayra didn't get. And the bit that Mayra had in her cart and she didn't take it. <laughs> Está padre tu punta. Gracias, amiga. Es nueva. La tenemos disponible en la tiendita si gustas. Es punta fina, eh. I should probably speed it up a little bit, pero me da miedo, güey. Me da miedo. I need to file this a little bit more straight, but I'm scared. Who wants to file it for me? Who wants to do that for me? So comfortable. What what's your little bit called? This one is called extra large, I think. I don't fucking know what it's called. What is it called? Extra large bit? XL bit. This one is called an XL bit. I think. I don't know. Is it the oh no? <laughs> no, it's not on. I never turned it on. <laughs> Thank you for Pinche tonta. Gracias por decirme. Um, how to call it? <laughs> oh, the hoodie. You're talking about the hoodie. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you like it. How did it fit? It was not on. What the hell? Yo aquí todavía comiendo pinche polvo. Um... Yeah, I did get um the power ball. I bought one earlier. Well, I bought a few numbers. Hopefully, I win something. At least like un million, you know? Are you going to make more G6? What color is that? What color is G6? I, I don't remember what they are. It fits great. Cuenta que te dijeron. No, es que no tenía prendido esta pendejada. Yo aquí según para no absorber polvo. Y aquí todavía lo ando absorbiendo, inhalando, como se llame. Pinta, pinte la máscara, mujer. ¿Qué? ¿Cuál? I want four dollars. I need to win something. The glitter you use on Chad's presents. Oh, that one's... Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring it back. But... Well, at least not any, not this year. If I do, it have to be next year. Like maybe for St. Patrick's Day. Because I, I sold out with the monthly boxes in March. I put it in the monthly box and that shit sold the fuck out. I was like, oh my yeah, honey. But we do have another pretty green. It's G... I want to say it's G9. That one's really pretty too. Something wines. Okay, honey, make an appointment. These nails don't happen by chance. They happen by appointment. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. 
very nice. Thank you. This nail I didn't file very good up here, but I don't go fuck. I don't go fuck because I'm probably gonna put bling right there anyway. A full set of these just like my thumb would look amazing. Like uh it reminds me of like this is Halloween, this is Halloween. Soy tu mayor fan. Hola Luis Lee. ¿Cómo estás? Fan número uno. Bienvenida a life. We're just gonna put top coat and then we'll put the bling. Okay. I love it. I don't care. I love it. Should I keep the that nail matte? Oh yeah, I don't know. I'm regretting it now. I kinda want a shiny. It looks so pretty shiny. What do you guys think? Oh, I want to go to Disneyland. I want to go to Disneyland. Hopefully, they take me for my anniversary. Le, si sí, le voy a poner cristales, amiga. No me puedo ir sin bling bling. Me mato. No, si do, it's shiny. Shine the claw. Shine the claw. Shiny, shiny. Shiny? Better for you, honey. Take me with you. I've never been there. Dude, for real, you should come. I love Disney. Shiny, shiny. En vez del Six Flags, nos vamos a ir al Disney. Porque no me quiero morir, wey. I, I think I'm just going to do them all shiny. Who am I fucking kidding? I do not want any matte. Like, that looks kind of cool right there. Look at Matte shiny? Or should I stop being a little bitch and just leave it matte? Decisions, decisions. La reina de la joyería para uñas. Sí, amiga. Shiny. Okay, fine. Yeah, like that looks kind of cute. Pero shiny it is, a la verga. No queremos mate, mate. No queremos a la verga, no. Oh, well, ya lo pinté. Ay, I couldn't, I couldn't. It's just so hard for me to do matte. Like, shiny is just so much prettier. Myra, if you recreate these, you can do, you could do them, Matt. I'm sorry, I cannot do, I cannot. <laughs> I need shiny in my life. Look, that looks so more alive. I love it, shiny. I love it, I love it. Shiny is much better, right? Like, oh, it's because it looks dead. Like, matte is pretty if they're all matte, but if more than one is shiny, it's like, <gasps> shiny is just so much cuter. Look at it, bitch. All of y'all who told me to leave it matte, y'all are evil. Yeah, it looks like too dry. Like, it needs a little bit of, of fucking shine in it, huh? Do you recommend me a secret top coat? Because I'm iffy about it. Um, I used it years ago. I personally was not a big fan of that top coat. Um, but I don't know if, if it got better or not. Back in the day, I used to use, um, como se llamaba? OPI Oxium or some shit. That one was my ultimate favorite for a long time. But then later on, I moved on to, I think I used to use the Koopa one. And then I moved along to a different one. I forgot what the fuck it was called. But it was, it also had like a golden cap. Um, they had gave it to me as a sample in a nail supply. And then I, I stuck with that one until I came out with my own. And now, I I love my top coat. I don't use anything else. 
I couldn't be, I couldn't have because I don't like it. Ah, a veces mi top coat se abre y o luego de secar le salen como huequitos, alguna idea por qué. Sí, amiga, es porque tiene algún aceite en la uña o, o por ejemplo, si le pones cristales y luego le echas, um, le echas el activador o whatever, nomás lo tienes que limpiar antes de aplicar el gel con alcohol y no te pasa eso. Okay, let's let's wait. Not polish is also good polish. They gave me one, but to be honest, I haven't used their gels because I have them and right here in little like a, a museum. <laughs> I have them like a museum right here in and como se dice? And display, but I don't want to see because they're so pretty. Now I understand what people be like. I don't use my Zule, whatever, because it's so pretty. Or like, you don't want to use it. Now I know how you feel. All right, I'm just going to put it one more time. And I'm going to put my finger up. De nada, amiga. Aquí estamos para ayudarte. I need some water in a museum. Yes, girls, because I have everything in display. Por eso es like a museum. Espero llegar a ser tan profesional y talentosa como tú. Sí, amiga, tú serás mejor. You guys want to see them glow? Let me turn off my shit. Tú sigue practicando y serás mejor. Mejor que yo. All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to show you guys how these glow. Let me, let me put it back in. Let's hold it in. All right, hold on, guys. Let's turn this off. Come on, bitch. I can't see the fucking numbers. All right, hold on, guys. I can't see shit. I have to turn off the iPad. Ooh, look at... Oh, the thumb doesn't glow. What the fuck? I don't have any green, orange. Oh, I only have orange on a few fingers. Hold on, hold on. Woohoo! That looks so cool. Look at the marble. Oh my God, Becky! Wow, wow. I only have glow on those three nails. All right, hold on. Let me turn it back on. Hi, Lori. Welcome. Let me turn on my light. I got shop. I got shop, bitch. Oh, they look so pretty. Gorgeous. Let me take a picture. The marble is everything. Let me take a picture. I see basic before we put the bling. You know, because there's basic bitches out there that are going to like this. Hold on, these cuticles are not it. It's a struggle to fucking pose. Come on, bitch. Fix your finger. Do like that. Oh, fuck. I was taking a video by accident. Okay, time to put the bling. Yeah, I love them just like that, but I can't do myself like that. I need some bling in my life. I need some bling. bling. All right, I'm going to put... Put it in the camera again. I need to see it up close. I got my old lady glasses on. Okay, hold on. <sighs> what made you choose that style shape lamp? Um, I actually had this lamp before. Um, um, maybe like a year or two ago. 
and I really like that I can stick my client's elbow in the lamp like through the little hole it's a uh, um you hold it from there but I like with my clients that I could stick their little elbow in there and I don't like to be like other people so I like to be different I stayed away from the the lamps that I've already seen other people get in hand. So maybe I'm gonna use those already. I don't know yet. So that's how I ended up in this nail category in this lamp. All right, hold on, guys. Let me find my golden shadow. So here you are. All right, I think I'm gonna use the orange ones. These orange ones. I'm going to use, I don't know if I should use these. I think these are called volcanoes and rose gold. I don't fucking know what I want, bitch. Elbow, show me. Okay, hold on. Oy, wait. Okay, so let's pretend this is the client, right? This is the way the client would have it. So use, oh, fuck, I can't even show you. Hold on. So then the client will stick their elbow when you're going to file their hand like this, you know? Because when I'm going to file my clients, I file them like this, but then I turn the hand this way. And I don't like when they have it like this. I need it to be straight so the nails could be nice and straight. Well, you guys can't even see. It could be straight, right? So I could file like that. So I like it that it fits right in there. Like a little elbow rest. You know? <laughs> they could also take it to the restroom. I saw somebody else say that and I'm like, that is so fucking funny. Okay. It does kind of look like a toilet seat or some shit. Loki, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Someone stole my glue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to use my Zule Bling Adhesive. Um, let me fix you guys. I'm going to put the, the orange first. So I think I'm going to do the, hmm, the little ones. They're not that little, but they're little. Hmm. Should I? Or should I do the big ones? No, I'm going to do the little ones. You know what's crazy? The orange paired with the black almost looks red. Like fire, huh? It's like a catfish. All right. I think I'm going to do like a squiggly line in this one. I don't know. I just love squiggly lines. Um, This orange is actually from Zule Crystals. These are not Charoskis. These are Zule Little Crystals. These are the orange Hyacinth AB or some bullshit like that. Let me zoom in actually a little bit. They're fucking beautiful. Hold on, let me turn my finger. When in doubt, bling it out and add a little swirl. Am I tripping or is the lighting a little dark? Because ever since I fucking turned my light off, it now I feel like I need more light. All right, I love little squiggly lines. You can never go wrong with that. Hey, what's up with the Moscos and Cali? Qual oh, girl. I don't know. Out here where I live, no, I'm Moscos. Well, at least they don't be eating me. Maybe porque no salgo, huh? I always be inside my house. But when I go to the salon, Lord, I be having to fight a bitch all the time. Hi, Judith. See you tomorrow. Are you wearing your glasses? No, I'm not. I'm not. Yesterday I went out um, with my sister shopping. Not to the streets. I mean, not to clubbing or nothing like that. We went to um to shop. In Nome, I didn't take my glasses. And I was well, I went with my mom too. And then I was like, y'all better hurry up because I didn't bring my glasses and I, we have to drive back and I can't see in the dark. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck? 
Well, you mean you can't see in the fucking dark? I'm like, well, I could see, but I see blurry. And how to call it? Um, thankfully, I mean, I was able to see perfect, but I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die tonight. You're allergic to repellent? Oh, no. Lori, don't say that because now Judith is going to start feeling herself. <laughs> She's going to be like, I'm famousness. Mm. Judith is famousness up in here. Uh, today's my birthday. And I don't know what I should do. Any ideas? Oh, happy birthday. Go do something nice. Go to get a massage. Um, hola, ¿qué diseño te harás en la otra mano? No sé, amiga, no sé, no sé. Nice nails, thank you. Ahorita le vamos a echar un chingo de bling bling, así bien. Zule was driving left with her eyes closed. <laughs> She, yeah. Nah, but... I was able to see it's like baby Jesus kind of put me to back to 2020 vision until I go home. 2020 vision. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, let's sing happy birthday. What's your name? Birthday girl, what is your name? We're going to sing to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, fuck. Ese se el puto. ¿Cómo te llamas, amiga? ¿Cómo te llamas, Carla? Happy birthday. Oh, shit. Wrong color. Happy birthday to you, Carla. Que lo muerda. Que le muerda. Ni, 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 ni. Y van a decir que va a morder a la verga. Va a morder pastel. Queremos pastel. Fuck, man. I wish I had a smaller one of these. Oh, well. It's looking like a little worm, huh? <clears throat> okay. Happy birthday, Carla. I'm going to add some of these rose gold crystals, actually, because I haven't. I have a little bit of gold in there. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking thinking i'm gonna include some rose gold yeah i am i haven't used those in a long time rose gold let me see do i have like a size 12 in here i don't really like the rose gold crystals let me tell you guys why because they're color coded but it's okay we're not gonna keep these on for a long time so normally I don't like to use the, the color coded crystals because like I said, they're coated with color and after a while they get scratched and then they turn silver. So that's why I don't lie. But y'all already know I don't keep these forever. So I'm going to put some. All right. I'm going to try to put a few big ones for my little swirly. Whirly, whirly, whirly. They look kind of black, huh? like rose gold black. Maybe it's my lighting. I don't know. Do you use Serenity or Swarashki? I use Swarashki, honey. I've never bought the Serenity ones. The Serenity are the ones from Blue Streaks, right? Those are Serenity? Yeah, they're color coded. Like, they're coated with color. All the metallic ones are like that. So they're underneath, underneath the color, there's a silver crystal. So after, um, like, you know how we use our hands a lot? How to call it? Um, they get scratched, like the top colors get scratched. And then underneath is where the crystal clear color is at. So after getting, like, let's pretend I keep these for a month. After a month, they're not going to look rose gold anymore. They're going to look like I have silver crystals. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? In some areas. That's why I don't I don't really like to use them on my clients because some of my clients can be a little I mean, you you want what you want, right? You want rose gold for a reason, but 
they won't like that they turn silver. You know, I personally don't really care. I think Sen Serenity and Swarovski is the same. I think so too, low key. I just feel like Swarovski is selling the crystals to a other other brands like other distributors but they're not allowed to use their name you know like they just don't want people to use their name anymore that's that's what happened but then now i kind of feel like it's fucked up because these companies already bought their own crystals named it after them and now Charoski wants to come and sell Charoskis again so now what happens to their brand you know that's fucked up. But I, I haven't bought any crystals in a long time. I just bought a little bit the other day. But. Nada que ver. No más like whatever I was, I needed. Like a little time, like the little black ones. I, I never really had a lot of black crystals. Uh, mujer, ¿has usado esta marca, Two Cute Nails? Si se puede usar con cualquier tiempo de monómero. No sé. I, yo no he usado otras marcas de hace... Uh. So, she's asking me if I've used a different brand. I have not used... The only brands that I use... Excuse me. Son... Todas las marcas que uso ahorita son las que ya he tenido por mucho tiempo. Oh, fuck. So that brand was not around when I was, before I had my brand. I don't think it was. I don't have no idea, actually. I just heard about them not too long ago, maybe this year. But oh, I have never tried their brand. Pero yo creo que cada sistema es universal. Si se puede. I've never had a problem with no brand not being compatible with another one. Zule, I need more good, good crystals. Ya eres adicta, Mayra. Sorry, I meant to say the hoodie. Juicy. What did you say, Juicy? Hold on, let me look. Juicy, where are you? Where are you? Juicy. Hey, love everybody. Loves hoodie. I bought. Oh, everybody loves it. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, let me see. Should I put black crystals? Yeah, huh? I don't have a lot, but fucky, fucky. Oh my gosh, I don't have a lot. I don't have little ones. Hmm, or maybe I'm gonna put the, these, something different. Hmm, yes, see, sí, un poquito. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna put... I'm going to put these, these, the jet hematite, because I don't really have different sizes of black. I only have size 16 and the little ones and the really, really big ones. So I'm going to do this, this one. All right, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put it right here. Oh my God, I love them already. I'm low-key going to cover all the fucking color, bitch. Where should I put the black ones? Should I put it on this side? Fuck it, just cover this part, huh? Or should I do this side? What? My cat knocked over all my black rhinestones. Oh, my lord. What side should I put the black? Probably on this side, huh? Yeah, fuck it. Even though I'm going to cover the ombre. Oh, well, it wasn't that good anyway. Bye, ombre. See you never. I know I love this color too. And these black crystals are not the good good, okay? Oh, shit. These little black crystals are not the good good, but they are still good good enough for design. Do you reuse the chatons ever? Um, Sometimes I do if I'm able to clip them off in one piece and... Um, I haven't had them on for a long time. Like, sometimes, like, let's pretend I take these nails off in three days. Let's pretend. Because sometimes I do that. 
if I do put like big crystals and I'm able to like clip them off nicely, like in one piece, I will save the crystal on the side so I could reuse it on my fake can or something like that. But some of the some of the times they just fly, fly, fly away and I cannot catch them. Okay, walk away. Don't cover up everything. <laughs> we have to cover it a little bit it's because the ombre the ombre did not even come out good you should have seen it in the beginning lauren you you was late you did not get to see the 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 hot mess i made so good thing you were not here because you would be like ma'am bling it all out bling it all out i'll put smaller ones here just a little bit all right, raise your hand if you have been here since I started. How long ago was that? How many hours have we been here? Who been here that forever? Who's still folding laundry? Yeah, bling it up, bling it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see how many of you guys have not left. Have not left anywhere. Okay, la Ana, la Jensta, la Lisa. Okay, ya se les durmieron las nalgas aquí. Okay, la Janie. I just bathed my dog. Damn, y'all be doing all kinds of shit. <laughs> you guys are watching. Okay, um, Zach, are you going? Are you doing your nails still? Or are you still on break? I'm cleaning. What are you cleaning, Lauren? Which nail glue do I use, girl? Um, I'm using the Zulabling adhesive, my friend. That's the only glue you need in your life, okay? Throw all the rest away. <clears throat> anyway. Ooh, you swatching? <clears throat> I keep coming and going. <laughs> That's what she said. I know, I took a long time. I'm sorry, guys. I understand. You guys cannot be here with me all the time. All right, all right, Zaloy, I really like this. It's the best glue. Changing out the bedding on the bedrooms. Okay, girl, can you do mine too? Can you can you do mine too? Come back, que le parece esa morra. Look at that lovely bling in las pinches uñas. It's the best glue ever. I know it's one of those no sleep nights. Ah, you're gonna stay up, watch some movie, a movie. So I really like the different sizes. Yo, you are keeping me company since my ass has insomnia. Okay, honey. Um, what state do you live in? What state do you live in, Lisa? I really, really like the 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 different sizes, actually. Like, they're not all the same. You are my movie. Yes. Literally, on YouTube. Oh, fuck. That shit scared me. What the fuck did I drop? Oh, my bling. Oh, in Florida? Yeah. And YouTube, everybody be like, <laughs> cleaning and watching, listening to me, actually. I'm like a whole ass movie, bitch. Dude, that shit scared me. You guys, I'm going to la pinche tripa la verga. Voy a necesitar que alguien me masaje. Masaje. Um, I fell asleep at 7. Now I'm up and have to be at, up at 5. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. You're fling fail. Yeah, um, I did. Uh, I mean, I, f my, I, f I was going to say I fell. <laughs> My bling fell, but it's closed. Don't go to sleep late. You need to be up early, Zule. I know, I know, Judith. So, excuse me. Don't worry. I'm gonna be. What? Oh, it's still early, bitch. Am I the only one in Florida that cannot come to your pop up? No, girl. There's other other hoes from Florida. Ooh, look at that, Zule. So pretty. <laughs> I get excited when I see my bling. Okay, Zule, you play. Let's let's see. What else should I put? <sighs> Fuck my life. I'm getting sleepy. Ya me pasaron la pinche sleepy. Pinches 
perras malditas. I just kidding. Why so mean, huh? Lune, why so mean? Mm. This is a hard part. This is a really hard part. I'm trying to figure out what to put without overdoing it. Should I put a charm like a little pumpkin or a little skeleton? I'm definitely doing this set. I'm loving the index. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do it, Matt. I love this all the time. You guys should try it. Triple bling. Like how? It doesn't even look like two of them are non charostis huh? Hold on, let me spray it so it could dry. So if you guys haven't got our glue and bling adhesive, you need it in your life. So I'm just going to spray. I wait, I missed a pumpkin. Zule, I tried to organize your bling boxes, but I failed. Man, no wonder one fell. i just kidding. <laughs> a pumpkin? Okay, I do have a pumpkin. Hold on. Hmm. Or do I need to steal one? Look, I have these little charms. Hold on, let me go steal one. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm for your way. All right. Here are my little pumpkins. Well, they're like jack-o'-lanterns or whatever. Have you guys got the monthly box? You guys got one of these? They're kind of like scary, but cute. Hold on. Look at They're so cute. I'm going to put both of them. Pues ya que, ¿verdad? Save some for me. Don't use it all. Mira, Judith. I'm not saving shit for you, okay? They're mine. <laughs> I think I'm going to put the pumpkin on the Frenchies, huh? Yeah. I'm put the pumpkin in a bling. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Or should I put in the pinky? Um, cuticle bling with the black would look so good. I'm gonna put a pumpkin somewhere. I did not just go steal for nothing. All right, I'm gonna do one. How do you still have clients? What do you mean? <laughs> Look, my clients like to get beat up by me and maltratadas. They love it. <laughs> ha, Judith. I, my clients love to get maltratadas because I do it with lab. <laughs> uh, Judith wants a recreation with a cluster. I will put her in the... <laughs> No, don't change her mind. She already has a design in mind. <laughs> yup, they love it. They love it. They got no choice. They want to be a client, then they're going to take my abuse. <laughs> it's not really abuse if it's wanted, Loki, because they like it. They <laughs> Zule, do you have all those black gems? No, I, I only have these. I only sell these. All right, I'm going to have to put uh, the um, cluster gel, actually, because the pumpkin is kind of hollow. 
<laughs> yes, true. Ask my clients. Ask them. If my sister, if my sister was here, she would have been like, bitch, it's because they're scared of you. Because <laughs> I always be like, ask Patrick, ask him. And then she will be like, it's because he's scared of you. This is what happens when you do a design that you know I'm going to want to copy. Look, bam. That's going to be $30 more if you change your mind at this point of view. <laughs> Judith is like, give me more. Give me, give me, give me more. Nah, Judith, you can't copy this shit. You got to get your own design, honey. We cannot be double. We cannot be twins right now. Maybe next year. Or I'll do it in a different color, but not this fucking color, honey. So Judith wants to copy one of my sets from last year, which is fine. But we cannot both be rocking the same shit, because then how am I going to have content, honey? She's like, I'll pay. She fucking sure would pay. But no. I'm going to cancel you at that point. Be like, sorry. No. Get your own design. I'm going to put my little pumpkin up here. And again, for those of you guys who are new, we are just joking, okay? Because people literally think I'm a bitch or whatever. I am. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am not a bitch, but I can be one. If you like it. If you like it like that, I can be a bitch for you, okay? We could play like that. Like, give me, give me, give me more. Uh, hey, I didn't get to do the design I'm getting because of McDonald's. They haters, right? Yeah, that's true. So no changing your fucking mind at this point. Last year, she had to get something smaller. We are only a bitch with love. <laughs> yeah, this is love. And this is love. ¿Cómo va la canción esa? I don't even know how the fuck that shit goes. Uh, I'm trying to clean that part. You are spicy. Uh-huh. I love it. Spicy. I'm trying to clean the excess. Yeah, my clients love that shit too. And if they don't, they act like they do. Just because they want to be part of the cool, cool club. The cool nail club. Let me just get this fucking lamp. The first one I could grab. Porque si no las maltrato yo, las van a maltratar at the nail shop. So, mejor que las maltrate yo, ¿verdad? Y salen feliz con las uñas que querían. Hey, I'm gonna go to work at McDonald's. They're gonna pay $20 an hour. Fuck, for real. That's what I'm saying. It's like, bitch, I'm gonna go fuck around and drink all the coffees I want in a day. Let's go. Let's go to the same one, my room. We boycotting Mickey D's Taco Bell. Here we come. <laughs> I don't think I got a Halloween design. Remember? I think no appointments. No, you did. You got a fucking pumpkin. Remember? You got a little one. Pointy stilettos like mine. I had a... a wait a minute. Did you? Yeah, you did. Yes, this is a, a sample Zule lamp. But we have a different one. I went, no, I think you're confused, ma'am. Like two years ago, a huevo, las chintas be filing rough. <laughs> Ellas te maltratan de otra manera, eh? Si te gusta, pues está bien. Yo te maltrato mejor. Yo te maltrato, pero te doy lo que te gusta, mami. Soy como el, el novio tóxico. Porque regresan. Regresan las perras. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't think I'd be the toxico. I'd be the the good boyfriend. I want to have a boyfriend. You want? You want? Uh, have you guys seen that meme? Um, have you guys seen that meme where it says you want? No, wait. Does boyfriend? I don't know exactly how it goes, but it goes like boyfriend pay for jail. Or something like that. And then she goes like, no, he in jail. <laughs> that shit made me fucking laugh. One of my clients sent it to me. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking dead as fuck. 
No, that was my Thanksgiving sale. Remember with the pumpkin and the orange? Really? I don't remember. I can't believe I cannot remember. I remember everybody's fucking nails. Or maybe I'm confusing them with mine that I, I did a long time ago. <sighs> oh, shit. That is so fucking cute. My little orange crystals. Again, these are Zule crystals, the little orange ones. So fucking cute, bitch. Little pumpkin. Also, the boyfriend give you no diamond. I give you diamond and the lamo for you. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. I, I hadn't heard that one. Um, Pop-up shop in Costa Mesa, California. Oh, that's where you're from, Heather? So fetch. I copied the pumpkin off the set. I'm getting. Mm, I can't remember it, honey. Okay, I'm going to put a little black diamond right here. All right, we got to get serious now. we got to get serious because we're bedazzling. We're little bedazzlers. Give me, give me, give me more. Give me more. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Oh, my God. Go back. Go back, little diamond. I caught, oh wait, I really read that, I really read that. This is giving me Jack Skellington vibes for some reason. The little pumpkin. This is why I fucking hate doing the bling over the gel because it just doesn't fucking stay. I'm just going to spray it and forget it. <clears throat> so if you guys don't want, sorry, that was a response to Judith. Oh. If you guys don't want your shit to be moving around because it annoys you, like it annoys me, then um, put the top coat last. I own a shopping center in Costa Mesa. I want to do pop-ups and vacancies. Okay, I'm down. Shit, rent me a vacant one to do a class. I'll come do class and a little pop-up. How big are your spots? Are they big? Big, honey? Are they big, 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 big? I'm going to put a gold in. I was... What was the response? Go read. ¿Tú que estás disponible? Judith, ponte a leer. I wish I had a fucking marquise, but I don't. Oh, well, this one is as close as a marquise as it's going to get. Ooh. I don't know how big that is. Okay, hold on. No, let me change this one. Um, six eighty to two thousand square feet. I don't know how what that size is, but I don't need nothing too big, but just enough space for some hose, like some thirty hose from different area codes. Hmm. I'm gonna put a pointy one. I wish I had more fucking shapes, but I don't. Excuse me. El spray is para para que se seque el glue. Ooh, that McDonald's was spreading rumors about the racist part. Oh no, it's it's true. Hey Zule, hi. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. ¿Cuándo será un live solo en español? Nunca, amiga, nunca. No sé, no creo que, no creo hacer un live así porque muchas de mis seguidoras hablan inglés. So, si tú quieres que hable en español, háblame en español y yo te lo respondo. Pero most of my clients, most of my followers hablan en inglés. Hey, Zule. Hi, Marie. I want those cubes you be hiding. <laughs> Uh, next time, honey, next time. Oh, I do be hiding them. Hey, 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 Lorraine, 
Judith is in here, my other client that wants my bling. Don't say that out loud, please. She's gonna want that shit. She cannot have. They ain't gonna pay twenty dollars. They said that two years ago, but in that case, I'm gonna have to quit Walmart and go back to McDonald's. Hey, Judith, that raise is not worth the nails. Relax, relax. You are not going back to McDonald's porque lo vas a puro pinche nerd. Ooh, I made a little penis, honey. I heard you, bitch. <laughs> I said it so you could hear me, okay? <laughs> you know, bitch, that I ain't sharing my shit with you. It's mine. Not when, when Swarovski stopped selling to us. <laughs> I told Judith, I'm like, you fucking lucky bitch that I like you and I'm fucking sharing my bling with you, but only limited bling because mm -mm -mm. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my pumpkin. Uh, that's true because I ain't giving up my nails. Saludos. También tienes seguidoras latinas y prefiero español, pero tu Spanglish me ayuda con mis clientas en inglés. Ah, ok. Ok. No, ya sé que casi todas son latinas, pero... También tengo otras que pues puro English, so por eso le hago de los dos, para que todas, todas podemos aprender. Pero así un vivo completamente en español, no puedo, no creo que pueda. Cause, 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 cause I'm not very good at translating. Nomás me salen las malas palabras. What's yours is mine. Okay, bye. We not married, honey. Nubbies ain't worth it unless you get her to make you press on sets. <laughs> so I was approved to buy Swarovski's. Yes, Heather. So talk to us about the process. What did they ask you or what? What they tell you? Or what they ask for? I want to know. Um, can you only use them on your clients or whatever? Like, you can't sell them, huh? Or, or is it true that you're not allowed to say that they're Charoskis? All right, I think I kind of like that design. Something different, you know? Something different, something different. Or maybe I should put a little black one. Is it an only for press-ons? I don't know. I don't know. I heard that you cannot tell people that you're buying that but how are you gonna advertise it you know i'll put a little baby one a little baby one i don't have a nail license oh so people with no license can buy but can you still sell can you sell them i wouldn't be able to wear them anyway all oh, the press-ons yeah they're not for for judith Hold on. Um, but I own an art studio. Mm. We're going to have to change change our professions, guys. Yeah, I don't really like that one. Put it back. Put it back. Should I put another pumpkin? Or should I just leave them like that? Pumpkin or no pumpkin? Pumpkin or no pumpkin? Should I put another pumpkin or nay on the thumb? Should I just leave that one? What do you guys think? Nope. Leave them. Okay. Sorry, pumpkin. You're not coming on to the nail. Look, Lorraine, I copy you. All right, spray it and forget it. Pew, pew, pew. No pumpkin. Where did you get the black rhinestones? So I got um, the little skull ones from Dreamtime Creations. And the other ones, I already had them at the salon. The thumb does need love, but I always stick it in my shoes. So that's why I like to leave it like plain, you know, sometimes. It does need some love. Okay, raise your hand if you vote for bling in the thumb. I want an olive sparkling set. Ooh, 
they are so cute. Should we put something on the thumb too or nah? I kind of like them like that. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Go big, go home, huh? Go big, go home. Gonna go shower so you can go back to talking shit about me. <laughs> just joking, guys. Good night. Yeah. Anyway, Judith is a bitch. I just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. She's like, bitch. I didn't even leave you at home. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put a black crystal. I feel like I need some of that. I need some of that more bling. Okay. 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 Hmm. I wish I had more shapes. Ha! Uh, ooh, you know what I do have? Girlfriend! They're not like black black, but they're off. Off like a black like a what is it called like a black diamond like a diamond in the sky let me see what it looks like i said wait until i leave <laughs> bitch you're taking too long to leave go with the yeah <laughs> again guys we're joking okay we're joking don't be like what up Bitch, she's such a bitch to her clients. No, I'm not. I'm the best nail tech ever. Oh, you know what? I could use the golden shadow one in rhombus. Ooh. We're just playing. We're just playing, honey. Should I put a little black one or a little gold one? I'm gonna put a little black one. Fuck it. Fuck it. Thug life. And the reason why I'm not putting the, the other black ones is because those are, um, what the fuck? Where'd it go? Those are here. They fall off faster. Yeah, it's really nice. She's just joking. I went to get some rice and beans. Okay. Thanks, girl. No, you got my bag. What you say, Lori? Don't worry, Judith. I'll call you back. I'll tell her. I'm going to text you a screenshot of her. <laughs> Lori! No! Lori, relax. I'm going to need you to block her. I'm going to need you to block Judith, please. You're not sending her nothing. She could kiss my ass. Vete a lavar el culito, Judith. Whoa, I love everyone. No, 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 no. Do you, do you like having two different sets? Yes, I do. I do. I love it. I love it. I like it because I get to, okay, so let me tell you guys how this got started. Back in the day, oh, I have orange bean there. What? What the hell? So back then, I, well, many, many years ago, or many, maybe not that many years ago, I used to do my nails different, but they were, where the fuck did my orange diamonds go, bitch? Who stole my shit? Oh, they're right here. So I, I used to use my nails different, but the same at the same time. I can't get over how you always say those fall off fast. Yeah, you use them a lot. No, I didn't, Zach. I only <laughs> used, I only used the skull. I think the skull and maybe another diamond. But you're not gonna use them like to grab shit. You're just gonna have them for display. So that's why it was okay. <laughs> but anyways, how to call it? I've always worn my nails the same but different, like flipped around. And then, because I would get bored of the designs. And so, how do you call it? Um, Judith, go fucking shower already. I've done two sets too. It's a good conversation piece. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go go to hell. No, it's good. 
<laughs> go shower, honey. Go shower now. And then how to call it ever since COVID. So before, it used to take me about eight hours to do my fucking nails. Each hand. I think. I don't remember. It just took me a long ass time. It used to take me a long ass fucking time to do my nails, right? It still does, but... Um, I think it used to take me longer. That's why I was like, fuck that shit, bitch. And so during quarantine is when my business got really, really, really busy. Um, because everyone and their mama was home and stuff like that. So I think that's why um, we we were the busiest. So I didn't have time to do my nails. I didn't have time to sit on my ass. Good night, Judith. Um, I didn't have time to sit in my ass, nor did I have the space, actually. Um, so I would do one hand. Well, for a long time, I didn't do any hand. But after a while, I would do a hand, and then I will get fucking tired. I'm like, dude, I cannot spend the whole day here because I had a lot of work and stuff like that. And so I was like, well, I'm going to do one hand. And then by the time it was time to do the other hand, I no longer wanted the design. I wanted something different. And that is how it started to be okay in my brain. I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to do two different hands. And I do it more for content too because I am a content creator. I like to teach you guys how to use different stuff. And then also it helps that I demonstrate the colors in videos because sometimes a swatch doesn't do it justice, you know? For those of you guys who like want to buy a color and stuff, you guys want to see it in person and like action and stuff like that. And so, yeah. I'm using the Azul Labeling Adhesive. You guys can find everything I'm using except the crystals on my website. The only crystals that you guys can find on my website are the orange ones and the little black ones. But the glue is a must, honey. You need to use, okay? But yeah, that's how I got started. This little, this little fucking double hand. And I know it looks a little weird because everybody always be giving us all kinds of looks in the streets. But if your hands look like that, it's because you a nail tick. You a nail tick. Or also some of my, well, not all of them, but here and there I have a client who don't mind a complete different set on both hands, you know. Few, few. Feel, feel. So does glue expire? It doesn't necessarily expire, but it dries up. So in a way, yes. It dries up is what it does. Yes, best glue ever. You can glue, glue anything together. Your car breaks. Use your bling adhesive. Oh, literally, my brother-in-law just came and he's like, can I get a glue? And I'm like, sure. Take one. Me, I'm not a nail tech like that. And I wear two different sets. Yeah. All right. Let's clean the nails. Let's clean the nails. Mine is stringy. Um, How long have you had it for, Heather? Normally, the glue can last up to a year unopened if stored in a cool room. But if you've used it. Um, I would say after three months, you have to switch it out. For real, I fix everything with that. My husband comes to me. I don't fix. No, actually, we fixed Patrick's glasses with it. With the glue yesterday. We glued them together. So don't forget to blink. These are my favorite sets of the season. Y'all were not expecting this, huh? From Japan. I am love your nails. Thank you. I'm getting closer and closer to doing different designs on each hand. Yes, mine was stringy when I first bought it. Oh, if you buy it and it's kind of like a little bit gooey, not like thick gooey, you just got to shake it. But I think Heather, what is her name? Heather? I think her, she just had it for a long time. The glue is, let me show you. 
So when the temperature goes from hot to cold or whatever, I like to compare the glue like a champurrado vibes. You know, like when the champurrado is hot, it starts to make a little layer on top. And how to call it, it when you mix it, it goes back to normal. I love them. I want to start doing nails, so, but I'm scared, girl. Don't be scared. I think I just got to buy another one. Um, When did you buy yours, luxurious? Blinging my nails. Send me a picture or a video. Blinging my nails right now. Yes, honey. So what you guys think? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm missing some fucking taco right there. From the freaking oil. What you guys think? I love that they're square. I know some of you guys are not going to do. I'm going to start teaching my granddaughter. I'm going to start teaching my granddaughter nails. Oh, yes, honey. But yeah, you guys need to refrigerate your glue because glue does not have a forever shelf life. I've had a girl, I bought it like a year ago, but I used it like because it was still working bomb. I know, amiga. Okay, so I, the glue will last a long time unopened. So if you guys buy multiple glues and you store them good, I've had a glue like in a package, like, you know, when I, I told you guys that they get returned sometimes and then I'll, re I'll ship them a new one. Meanwhile, the other one gets returned back. So those packages, I leave them in a little basket in my room. And sometimes I open those and the glue will be good. And it's already been the longest I've hold, I've opened one was like a two year glue, a year and a half. And it was perfect. So as long as you do not open them, it will last you up to a year or two if if kept in a cool temperature. You don't even have to refrigerate it. as long as where you live, it doesn't get too hot. It should be fine. But once you open it and you use it, then I can't guarantee it's going to last a whole year, you know? Especially when you're touching the nail and it's not like super clean if it has dust. Or if it becomes contaminated or whatever, it will harden sooner. Did you size down on the square tips? They look so slim. No, I didn't actually. Um... On the middle finger, I use a uh, number two, I think. I just filed them on the side before I stuck them. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really fun today. I swear I have one left I bought two years ago. Damn, honey. Yeah, probably kept me alive during COVID. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh nice nice okay thank you honey i feel like these look like a, a football team i just don't know the name of it what is a color orange stone called it's called hyacinth ab hyacinth ab all right everyone buenas noches it's hot here so i refrigerate and it's still good okay yeah it stays warm over there all year huh I taught myself to do acrylics. Yes, good job, Griffin. Oh, through COVID, huh? Damn. Well, I finished right on time because my iPad is about to die. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'll see you guys in another video. And don't forget to um, go follow me on YouTube if you guys aren't already following. Because I'm going to be recording Judith's nails tomorrow. All right. Buenas noches, everyone. And thank you guys for the little badges. Bye. Buenas noches. Bye, everyone. Bye. Una noche más y copas de más. Tú no me dejas en paz. De mi mente no te.